Hello, everybody. Sorry, I had to change for me. Sorry, hold on. Hello, hello. Sorry, guys, I had to change streams. I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can I pin this? Hi. Hello, everybody. You're asking where is Virgo, honey? I just posted. Um, I just posted a, a post on my community page. So um, go take a look. It's coming. Every everyone will get a reading. <laughs> It's not new news here, guys. You should know by now. I do readings when guided, when I get visions, when I get channeled messages. Okay. So you're asking where's Virgo, where's Aries, where's Libra? I get to everybody when, when something comes. All right. Yeah. All right. Hi, every guy. Hi, everyone. Just reading. Thank you. I'm definitely playing around with my comfort zone. Yeah, you know what's funny with Virgo is that I wanted to do the reading today. And then something told me, let the message download a little bit. Because when I get visions, when I get channeled messages, I need for the message to sit with me for a little bit. Um, Sometimes it's like really good for me to jump right into a reading. Sometimes it's not. Um, and tomorrow is the eclipse. And so I felt like if I did Virgo's reading tomorrow, it might really just like, I might combust. I don't, I don't think I'm going to do it tomorrow. I think I may do it Sunday. Thank you. Yeah, I'm playing around with my comfort zone. I'm really stepping outside of my comfort zone. I feel a dark from energy and I'm just playing around. Just playing around with the energy, okay? Can you guys hear any background noise or are you guys comfortable? Are you guys okay? Just letting everybody kind of come in. I got my snacks, I got some chocolate. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's beautiful, Penelope. Thank you for sharing that. Yes. Yeah, we're we're definitely um, playing with our comfort zones. I definitely feel that in the collective. So I am doing an all signs reading. I definitely feel this in the energy and space. And Scorpio season, it's not just Scorpio season. We had a lot of transformation since August. A lot of people have been going through a lot of shifts and what are shifts? Shifts are energetic changes and there are a multitude of shifts that occur for actualized change. Okay, so a lot of people have been going through major endings, karmic endings, um, releasing, releasing old habits. Like what are you transforming? I just, I, I was... I think it was like a few nights ago, I was trying to sleep and I felt Scorpio's energy and all I could feel is Scorpio's energy speaking to me of what is the collective transforming at this time? Because ever since August, since August, a bunch of people in the collective, me included, have been going through so many transformations, karmic endings, new beginnings, so... What is transforming for you this Scorpio season? Um, I'm going to get into it. So I'm not going to go by order. I actually just, you know, wrote the signs as they started to come to me. So I think I'm just going to, can I just, yeah, I can do the timestamps. Hi, guys. Oh, divine that Sophia is helping you transmute. Sophia is my grandmother's name. Okay, so Cancer. So everyone is going to get Oracle cards. I have 
five, I want to do, I'm just going to flow. I don't know where the messages are going to go. We're going to try to touch on everything like, um, you know, spiritual growth, love, career, finances, whatever comes through. Okay. Thank you guys for joining us members. Yes. Okay. So before I get started, I'm doing personal readings. I have to remember to, to say this in my introduction and because I'm so, I, I, because I haven't done it since ever. I've never said any kind of introduction, but um, doing personal readings um, on my website, therarigazelle.com, and members are also now welcome to join the channel. So yay. All right. Okay. Enough about babbling. Enough about me. Okay. So we're going to start with cancer. Yes. There's memberships. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so Cancer. Cancer. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining as members, guys. Yes, thank you. I tried to make them, you know, friendly. Um, but yeah, just click the join button on my channel. Okay, what is transforming for you, beautiful Cancer, this Scorpio season? What is transforming for you? I have my belt. Okay, I have my belt to cleanse the space. I'm trying not to use sage because um, it's very unethically sourced, so I'm trying to not use sage. I, I burn bay leaves um, from time to time, but um, I find the bell is like, it's incredible for cleaning energy. So I'm gonna warn your ears whenever I use the bell, okay? And Ginger, I haven't started yet. <laughs> I've been on live for seven minutes. I'm just getting into the energy, sweetie. All right, Cancer, what's transforming? Let me change the timestamp on. <laughs> Okay, Cancer, what's transforming for you this Scorpio season? What's transforming for Cancer this Scorpio season? Thank you, Spirit of the Most High. Ooh, Cancer, imprisonment. There are some restrictions, Cancer, that you're releasing here. I'm going to get three from these. There are some restrictions. I saw marriage on the bottom. This is mental restrictions. Some of you are or were in a relationship that you're transforming that left you feeling an entrapment. But I see you releasing a lot of restrictions this Scorpio season. So I'm also feeling limiting belief systems, patterns. Wow. You're also transforming your money, cancer, unexpected income. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, guys. Okay, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you don't want something, it's not for you. Okay, open that space up for other people to enjoy that, okay? If you don't want marriage, maybe someone else is reading this and saying, well, I want marriage. Okay, let's be open. Let's be open for people, okay? Let's be open, all right? I'm seeing here that for cancer, something with your money is transforming, okay? There's a male energy in your space. There's a male energy in your space here. I'm also getting the year of January. I, I get a lot of like January and February. There's a lot of things that are going to start to come alive in the, in the next year for a lot of people. But for Scorpio season, Cancer, very specifically, I'm seeing that you're going to get some unexpected income. Okay, your money is transforming and I'm seeing you release some kind of mental entrapment. Maybe you were dealing with um, this uh, masculine energy that you felt really trapped with. Maybe you were in a relationship. I'm also seeing, okay, so this is also tied to the, um, this is also tied to the masculine transformation. 
masculine transformation reading that we did okay a lot of you cancer i'm seeing that you were dealing with jobs opportunities people that really limited you and i'm seeing you become free okay i'm seeing you become free and get something quite unexpectedly when it comes to your money okay um i'm pretty sure you can join the memberships from anywhere around the world i have people from all around the world. I didn't limit it. Maybe try again. I'm, I'm not sure. I'll take a look if there's anything on my end, okay? Okay, there's definitely some resistances here, Cancer. I feel like there's some resistances. There's some resistances. Yeah, you have your journey. You have your journey. Your journey is transforming. Your journey, yeah, you're releasing a lot of attachments. Your sacral chakra. This is about sexual energy. I'm seeing um, some kind of creative spark is going to come to you, beautiful Cancer. Some kind of creative spark. The Scorpio season for you. I'm seeing you release a lot of attachments. I'm seeing you release a lot of patterning. You're no longer feeling imprisoned by it. I'm seeing that your sacral chakra also may have been blocked because of these attachments, because of these limitations. I'm seeing that you're going to open up your uh, sacral chakra. So if you're doing meditation or feel guided to some kind of meditation, Cancer, if you if you really feel like your sacral chakra is blocked, okay, you may be feeling quite isolated at this time, imprisonment. Okay, when we have a sacral chakra that's blocked, that that makes us feel quite isolated, quite isolated and, and quite detached from others and detached from our emotions. So, um, Cancer, I see that you are transforming this part of yourself. Okay, you're going to feel part of your journey. Cancer, you're going to feel part of your journey. Cancer, I'm getting this energy from you that you have been detached from your journey or detached from the emotions on your journey. Yeah, detached from your journey. Like not really knowing where to go, not knowing the path, not knowing what's, what's ahead or understanding what passed. Okay. It's, uh, it's been very quite detaching for you in the present moment as well. Is something that I'm feeling here. Cancer. Yeah, sacral chakra is above the root. It's your second. It's your second. Okay, so nothing wants to come out of here. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to go to these either for you. We're going to go straight to the shamans. All right. We're going to go straight to the shamans for you. Next. Thank you guys for joining us, members. Thank you. Wow, Cancer, your future is transforming the Scorpio season. Obstacles are transforming. Yeah, obstacles on the path, on the journey. Yeah. Yeah, the universe definitely has a hand in this, okay? Cancer, whatever is unexpected, whatever this unexpected income is for you, Cancer, I see that that's coming from the universe. You have your eyes of the eagle rise above the fray. Number 18. Let's get one more. The divine matrix. Yeah. Your matrix is transforming. Your matrix is transforming. You're stepping out of a very limited framework, a very limited, very limited matrix, and you're moving, you're transforming on your journey 
to a divine matrix, something that feels more freeing to you. You're no longer attached, attached to the past. You're no longer feeling detached either. I see you becoming one, one with yourself, one with the energy. I'm, I'm feeling a lot of sexual energy as well, um, transforming here for you. Some of you might have been feeling quite restricted with your sexuality. And sexual energy is very important for us. That's its creation. It's a creative energy. It's a creative life force frequency that the universe is bringing in with in the hand and the divine matrix. Okay. Yeah, I see you becoming free sexually too. Um, maybe exploring your sexuality. Okay. I'm definitely feeling that for this group. You're getting a different perspective. You also may be needing someone on your journey here with main male. Okay, could be a masculine energy. It's something that I'm seeing. I love you guys. I'm going to get a romance angel card here for you. No, please be careful. Don't break your neck. <laughs> but I really appreciate you being here. <laughs> oh, Cancer. Cancer, you are transforming unrequited love. When it comes to your love life, I see you no longer entertaining. I see you no longer being attached to an energy that was one-sided when it comes to love. All right. This cancer group, I feel like you have been attached to a person that has been giving you crumbs, imprisonment. They're giving you crumbs. And the, and the universe here is saying, we're going to give you something more. We're going to give you something unexpected, Cancer. Do you see the hands? Do you see in the hand? And do you see here? This is about giving and receiving. The universe is gifting you something here. They're saying, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, not just monetary, okay? Something unexpected here regarding your income, but also regarding love. I'm going to I'm going to go there, okay? Because this is this is what I have for this group. Your sacral chakra is blocked and this person doesn't do it for you um sexually. This person does it guys, we're in Scorpio season, okay? This is all 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 is open, okay? All is open. All right. Thank you Kimberly. Thank you. I feel like who you have dealt with in the past, or if this is present energy, this main male. Didn't do it for you. It was unrequited. It was one-sided. I see someone new coming in for you. I see someone new coming in for you. But you know what? This sexual energy starts with you first. Okay? This sexual energy starts with you first. Yeah, I see you flirting. I see you feeling very lighthearted. Got to let go. Got to let go of control. Okay, Cancer? So you're transforming. You're transforming your sacral chakra. You're no longer holding on. You're no longer attaching yourself to something that's been one-sided. You are transforming your matrix energy. Okay, you're becoming more freer within your body, your mind. And you're also going to get something that's going to make you feel free regarding uh, financial freedom, some kind of unexpected income. Okay, that's what's transforming for you this Scorpio season. So thank you, Cancer, for allowing me to read for you. Yeah, sexual energy transmutation is very powerful. Very, very powerful. Do you guys have your snacks? Do you guys have your snacks? I'm going to get to my chocolate in just a little bit. You know, I'm just warming up right now. I crave chocolate when I'm when I'm ovulating. 
<laughs> There's no such thing as TMI here. Okay, I read for your energy. There's no such thing as TMI. Okay, so don't don't tell me TMI. There's no such thing as TMI. I crave chocolate when when I'm ovulating and I'm ovulating on the eclipse. So here we go. <laughs> Aw, Eve, could you please? Thank you. I just, yeah, so Cancer Aries is next. Thank you. You're so welcome. I love you, Cancer. Sorry, guys, if I'm a little, like, moody. But I really don't have, like, patience today. Um, so if there's anyone rude, I, I know, I know my, um... I know my my crew will, you know, step in, but I will cut you. <laughs> I will be the one to do it. I'm not patient today. And it's so funny because Aries had the energy of patience. Can I tell you, I was so frustrated with Aries reading, not downloading or uploading. Yeah, I really do. I really do have patience. And for a Sagittarius, I, I actually have a lot of patience. I am on Aries. I am on Aries. Aries is next. So let, give me just a moment. I'm going to use the bells in a moment, okay? Yeah, my sexual energy has been through the roof as well. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay, I'm going to use the bells. So turn down your volume, okay? I don't think it'll be too loud, but... Is that okay? I don't want to go too hard with the bell. I think I hope that was that didn't hurt your ears. Um, my son. Oh, I'm a Sagittarius. I'm a Sagittarius, sun and rising, and my moon is in Gemini, and my Venus is in Aquarius. Okay, we're ready. Uh, Aries, Aries, we're ready. What's transforming for you? What's transforming for you this Scorpio season for Aries? You're not late, honey. You're right on time. You're right on time. I mean, we already know for Aries, but let's see. Aries. Ooh, see, we already know. We already know. If you're 8-8. Eight, eight. We already know. If you're false person, pathway and marriage. Okay. And the entire Aries reading, okay, that uploaded today after centuries. Whew. Release, releasing people, releasing people, people being jealous, people being envious of the road that you are on. You have your pathway. Aries, you're taking a new road. You're taking a new path. That's what's transforming for you. You see all these butterflies in that pathway? That sun looks like a star to me. Your pathway is transforming. You're on a transformative path. You're on a transformative journey. And look at all these false people. Look at them looking at you. Oh, I can't believe Aries is on this path. Yeah. They are. Yeah, they are. You're on a transformative pathway and people are jealous. Like I said in that reading, you're transforming out of toxic relationships. You're transforming out of trauma bonds. That's what you're transforming out of trauma bonds. That's what this marriage signifies. This is a trauma bond. False person with the marriage card, that's trauma bonding. You're transforming out of trauma bonds. You're transforming out of 
your traumas and your wounds that made you connect with those people. That's what you're transforming out of. Congratulations. Be proud of yourself because that is a big achievement. And if like you guys need to feel the power in that because that's powerful. People are going to look at you and say, I can't believe I lost Aries. Oh, Aries changed. Yeah, of course, Aries changed. Aries is on a new path. Yeah, of course, Aries is on a new path. What did you think? That you were going to stay in this energy for forever? No. No. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Can I just also say... For those of you that don't resonate with that and these aren't people for you, you are transforming out of, it's, I, I'm hearing like delusion. You're transforming out of uh, a part of yourself that you have, it's almost like you created a false self. You created a false self, like you, 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 you were married to an idea about yourself, that you weren't good enough, that you don't deserve, that you don't have the skills or the capabilities, like you married that idea about yourself, but you're getting clarity, you're getting clarity, you've transformed out of those ideologies, out of that imprisonment, again, congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. How did you transform out of that angel of love? Thank you. Thank you, Kathy. I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Aries is getting their power back. And I strongly felt with Aries energy, the sun energy of like health and vitality. I felt a lot of energy with Aries. Like, you feel energetic to get things done. You feel really energetic to get things done. Wow. Aries, what's transforming for you this Scorpio season is your intuition. Is your intuition. You're no longer in delusion. You're no longer in the clouds. There's a real perspective, a realness to you. Yeah, angel, angel of love wanted to come out. Okay, I'm also, with this angel of love, you have here the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, which I do want to read from the book. Something is calling me to read that. Um, if you're also looking for a new love, this angel of love is also bringing in that here for you. Okay, so some of you quite literally might have been dealing with someone that you were in some kind of connection with a false person this angel of love is going to bring you in a new person okay that's what's transforming for you this scorpio season i see you recognizing that this is false that this person is not the one for you okay i'm seeing that in love for for those of you who resonate with that okay all in all this is a new pathway a new path let me read this one here for you let me see what this is Self-expression and speaking your truth. Didn't I say in that Aries reading that some of you spoke something? You changed the narrative on someone. You changed the narrative on someone because someone used to dictate the narrative in your relationship or in your friendship. And you started to voice yourself. You started to express yourself. And that person didn't like it. Yeah. Yep. This is Archangel Gabriel with the horn, with the trumpet of truth. He is sending powerful energy to your throat center. Oh, sorry. He is sending powerful energy to your throat center, acknowledging your power to communicate and your readiness to do so. This angel opens you up to truthful expression, both with yourself and with others. You may have had trouble with expressing emotions and ideas in the past, but Gabriel is here to tell you that your soul longs to to take this leap now. Be aware that true communication includes how you speak to yourself. Amen. Speak up for yourself. Write in your journal. Let your words flow. Now is the time to express yourself freely and fully, and the universe always honors your choice to do so. 
This card also indicates that a communication project is coming or a time of heightened communication with spirit and telepathy with others. Your throat chakra is transforming this Scorpio season, your communication with others. I'm also seeing if you have a project that you have been delaying, now is the time. So if you feel like you have something to say to the collective, if you feel like your intuition, goddess of the moon, if you feel like your intuition needs to say something, Aries, now is the time to speak it. Now is the time to speak it. All right. Let's go to the shamans. Actually, you know what? Let me try this deck. This deck hasn't come out yet. Well, we're only on the second sign, but let me see. Ooh, talk about sexual energy. Whew, Kundalini rising. Aries, let's go, Aries. Look at that fire. I'm also seeing like chiropractor or getting some kind of adjustment or alignment. Thank you so much, intuitive energy healing. Thank you. Birth of creation and potential growth. Aries. Aries. I'm this sexual energy is insane. Okay, some of you might be experiencing a kundalini awakening, kundalini rising. Okay, this is going to spark a lot of passion, but this is also new beginnings here. Birth of creation. Your voice. Let me tell you something right now. For this Aries that is really resonating with speaking something out into existence, because you've been getting downloads, you've been getting in intuitive hits about something, this is your path. Okay, this is your this is part of your soul's purpose. Okay, it's time to speak. It's time to speak to the collective Aries. As soon as you do that, you're going to give birth to new information that the collective has never heard. You're going to start to trigger people. You may even start to trigger Kundalini rising in others because this is not only about how you communicate to yourself, but how you communicate to other people and how you communicate to other people comes from a place of love, comes from a place of divinity. For those of you that are on that path, don't be afraid to speak up. Do you know how afraid I was to speak up? I still am sometimes very afraid to speak up, but then I remember, but I come from a place of love. God knows my heart. The universe knows my heart, my soul. So I know I'll be okay. Speak up, Aries. This is time to speak up. All right. Even here with this false woman or false person, excuse me, and the fan is over her mouth. You see that? Some of you are in a relationship and you are scared to speak up. You're scared to speak up. But in that reading that I did for Aries, I said, as soon as you start speaking, you spoke something, you changed the narrative on someone, that person didn't like it. If they don't like it, that's okay. They can go kick rocks. What do you mean? It's okay. That just means you're aligned to something else. That just means you're aligned to some something else. Don't be afraid to speak up. Ariel. Oh, I'm sorry. That was loud. I'm gonna get to I'm gonna get to Scorpio, honey. Don't worry. Oh, don't worry. We're gonna get to Scorpio. We're gonna get to everybody. All right. Don't worry. Very soon. At the bottom of the deck. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. If you're in a if you're in a relationship that's very unhappy, if you're in something that you know someone isn't for you, okay? What's transforming is your voice. Speak what you want out into the world because that's what's going to give it rise. Okay, that's what's going to birth it into existence. Speak it. Say it out loud. What do you want? Who do you want? What do you need? Even if you don't know what you need, what you want. Say how you want to feel. Say how you want to feel. What's transforming for you this Scorpio season is healing family issues. I see you forgiving, forgiving others. 
specifically within your family. Okay? Specifically within your family. Some of you, okay, this is not for all of you, but some of you are in a marriage. Some of you, you're in a marriage that you have trouble having a voice in that marriage. And you have had some resentment towards this person. I see when you start to speak up. I see that when you start to forgive yourself, forgiving the other person, that marriage is going to move into a new path. Okay? And then there's going to be a lot of passion reignited in that marriage. Okay, that's for, that's for someone. Someone needs to hear that. That was very specific. That's not going to be for all. We didn't go to the shamans. This could be the one and then engagement. Okay, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and you've already met the person or the partner that you see. This card is very tricky. This card is very tricky. This is what gets a lot of people in the collective, especially online readings, general online readings to get a little bit like fucked up because, excuse my language, um, because when this card comes up, everyone automatically assumes well, this person must, I must know them, not all the time. So there's, I have to say, disclaimer, this card is not for everybody. This is why your discernment needs to kick in, okay? Your intuition needs to kick, kick in and you need to ask yourself, am I really with the right person or is this a false person? Because you have here the false. Have you been thinking that someone is the one or remember, because you're breaking down delusions, okay? You're speaking up. I can't tell you if this person is for you. You know your life better than anybody. Use your intuition, okay? Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Can this person go with you to this higher level of commitment, yes or no? Okay, I see what you're transforming, what you're transforming this season for Scorpio is how you deal with other people and how other people deal with you. But how other people deal with you is the boundaries and the voice that you speak out to the other person. How do you want to be treated, right? People treat you in the ways that you allow. So this is what you're transforming this Scorpio season. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Throw that card away. <laughs> Yeah, I should. I should. No, it's a good card, but it's just a tricky card. It's a tricky card. And you know me. I don't want I don't want to cause any false hope to anybody. Okay, but I see your relationships transform, but your relationships, Aries, transform because of what you decide to voice out. Okay. Sorry, let me go to the shamans. Sorry, we're not done. Hold on. Let me go to the shamans. <laughs> Thank you, Eve. Thank you. Oh, I was so close to like buying wine, but I, my girlfriend's coming over tomorrow. We're going to have some girl time. I haven't seen her in so long. And so tomorrow I decided I'm going to have some wine tomorrow. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's go. Ooh, interesting. What's transforming for you this season, the Scorpio season? Beautiful Aries, you're getting back to integrity. I just heard that I once was lost, but now I'm found. And didn't we just channel in that Aries reading that you found a part of yourself that you disowned? that you forgot about, that you lost, you rescued yourself. This is all about integrity. This is be, be true to be true to who you are, Aries. Because some of you, you're saying that you're happy when you're not happy. I'm going to trigger a lot of people. I'm sorry, but this is this is this is what I got to do. Some of you are saying you're happy when you're not. Some of you are saying you're good when you're not. Your intuition is telling you otherwise here with goddess of the moon. You have to use that voice. You have to use that voice. You have to start to give birth to yourself here. To this part of yourself that has been quiet. 
You have to start speaking up, Aries. Okay. <laughs> I feel like you really want to talk today, though. I feel like you really want to talk today. Mm. Mm. You have here spirit of the river movement toward adventure. I see you transforming this seriousness, the serious energy to having a little bit more fun. The Scorpio season going more um, with the flow of things. OK, I really do like that for you. I see you moving with um, like flow and ease and adventure in this transformative pathway. You have here the vanishing mirror, and this is ego sublimation. Can I can I tell you what I saw with this? I saw you holding up a mirror to people's faces. You're about to see who people really are. You're about to see people who they really are based on the things that you speak. Because what you speak, your words, your words, if they're showing it to me energetically, your words are mirrors. When you start to speak, you're energetically putting up a mirror to someone. You're going to see the reaction of other people to the words that you speak. How are they going to take it? How are they going to receive it? I feel like you're really starting to see who people are. You have your possibility for union. Skybridge. This is all about your relationships and the relationship that you have with yourself, the relationship that you have with spirit, the relationship that you have with divinity. Yeah. You are aligning. You're aligning yourself here. You're aligning yourself to love. In all aspects. That's what I have for you, Aries. Yeah, Aries is tapping into truth. Yeah. All right. Ooh, it's gonna be a long day, not long night. <laughs> it's gonna be a long night. Ooh, we. Yeah, I do this with my hands because I feel the energy. And then I, I talk a lot with my hands. Yeah. Yeah. I know I'm not the only one that does this. Yeah. Thank you for noticing that. I'm, I know. I know I'm not crazy. I I am. A, I know I'm not batshit crazy. You know what I mean? But I know I am. But not like crazy, crazy. <laughs> All right. We have Pisces next. We have Pisces next. Don't worry, I got some tarot decks here if needed. Um, but we're just going to go channel and look at Oracle cards. Do you guys like my little pumpkin? <laughs> yeah, I had a long I had a long week. I had a long week. I was very tired, but I treated myself to some coffee, and here we are. <laughs> I was going to nap, and then I was like, no, I don't want to nap, because if I nap, I'm not going to get back up. All right, Pisces. Patrick is in here. He's going to watch the replay. I'm in Eastern time zone. It's 739. Oh, this is your moon sign, goddess. I believe this planet is one brain cell. I don't know what that means. All right, Pisces. 
I'm sensing um, some indecisiveness. I'm, sen I'm sensing some decisions that need to come. Uh, some of you Pisces have been sitting on decisions. Indecision. I don't know about what. Ooh, hi. I think you're a wealthy man. Could be meeting a wealthy man. You could be the wealthy man. Change. Number nine. Nine thirteen. Community. Give me one more. Some of you, yeah, concern in house. Pisces. Pisces, you worry a lot. Pisces, you're worried. You have concern about the changes in your life. Some of you don't know if like a, a change is going to be good, a change is going to be bad. Some of you might have just transformed your house, renovated your house. I see you moving to a new home possibly. But I'm seeing like a community around you go through some kind of change or like your family go through some kind of change. Or I see you just going through changes, but you're concerned, you're worried about these changes. Are they going to be good changes? Are they going to be bad changes? I see something really odd. I see something really odd. I don't know if this is past life or oh, that, man, they're going to give me time. I don't like channeling time. Um, past life. This is a past life energy. I'm seeing a wealthy man. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm starting to get dizzy. They're, they're channeling, oh, they're channeling to me a wealthy man, like a rich man that came into a community that wasn't so rich and started to change the infrastructure and like built built like hotels um casinos and like you had a genuine concern for this so how does this tie into you why are they giving this energy to me you have a general concern for your community Your community is transforming, Pisces. I just heard God is in the neighborhood. I just heard that. God is in the, is in the neighborhood. Pisces, the world. Okay, hold on. Pisces, you have a general concern for, like, humanity, for the world. Okay, you see it changing by the powers that be, by the things that they have built. I feel like you are really stepping into, like, a hum humanitarian role or, like, you're, you – you're getting like burnt, burnt down, burnt out by what's going on in the world around you, specifically your community around you, your empath abilities right now, like they are the powers that were, yes, thank you, the powers that were, I'm seeing like your, your Empath abilities right now are extremely sensitive. You're very, very sensitive to those around you is what I'm seeing here. Okay, that's for someone. That's for someone. That's a message that I got. Okay, that's a message for someone here. It wanted to come through immediately. I don't know. Someone is definitely doing humanitarian work in this life because in your past life, that's what you experienced. So I feel like whoever this is for, this Pisces energy, you have genuine concern. And I see you changing something within your community here, like a really positive change. Well, wow, that's interesting. I did not expect that. I'm sorry, Pisces. I don't know. Let me just let me just keep channeling. They're gonna bring in more. Yeah, happy family. Happy family. Maria, you wrote here 444. This is number four, and there's 222 people in the chat. 
two, two, two. We've been seeing nonstop. If you were here last live, two, two, two was was all over, all over the live. You really care about you really care about your family. Some of you are very concerned about your family. I'm seeing like I'm seeing positive changes in your family. Pisces. I see like for some of you Pisces, you're going to come into some you're going to come into some wealth. Hi Steph, hi my love. You're going to come into some some wealth. Okay? That is going to change your family. The Scorpio season for you, like, yeah, you're bringing in a lot of healing energies, healer of the ages. This is like you want to heal the world. Pisces, like you want to heal the, heal the world, but spirit is saying just focus on your community. Focus on your community. Focus on your family. Focus on the things that you can change. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, you're taking in too many hostilities, Pisces. What are you doing? <laughs> Let me get one more. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, okay, Pisces, sorry. This is, this is leading somewhere, okay? I'm trying to generalize it too. <sighs> Pisces, what's transforming for you this Scorpio season is you need to focus on the things that you can change. You need to focus on the things that you can change because you can't you can't change the world overnight. You, you're taking on too many worries and concerns of, of others. And it's it's like taking it's burdening you. It's taking up a lot. It's taking up a lot here. You have a lot of magic. You have a lot of things to offer. You know you have a lot of things to offer the world. I'm not saying that you can't change the world. I'm not saying that you're not powerful to change the world. That's not what spirit is saying. What spirit is saying is like it's draining your power. It's draining your energy to worry about so many people and others and communities and the world and this and that and, and what happened in that country and then what's happening in this country. It's just like I feel like Pisces, you're overwhelmed and then you have your own stuff that you're going through. Spirit is saying it's like focus, focus what's in-house. Okay, focus on the things that you can change. Okay, focus on the things that you can change. Okay, focus. I see you like focusing more within your community. I see you coming into some wealth that's really going to help your family. Okay, I see you healing yourself, healing your family, healing those around you. Don't take up too much hostilities from others because it's only going to cause more burdens and more constraints and worries for you, okay? Put in some strategy because I know you lead with your heart, Pisces. I know you lead with your heart and your magic, but spirit is here saying, use a little bit of logic right now. Use a little bit more, more logic, okay? Focus on the things that you can control. All right, let me get one more. Ooh, thank you. Let's talk about romance. <laughs> Let's talk about sex and sexual energy in Scorpio season, please. Scorpio over here, um, Pisces over here really wants to change the world immediately. <laughs> Let's talk about caring connections. But this is who you are, Pisces. You care so much about people. And I love you so much for that. You have so much genuine concern for people and for others. Some of you may be forgetting that, you know, you may have some things that you have to look at yourself, right? Change, you want to change the world, start with changing yourself first, right? The things that you can change, the things that you can control, all right? Caring connections. This is also new love. Okay, what's transforming for you this Scorpio season? Spirit is saying, focus on the things that you can change. I'm seeing you come into some wealth. Don't you worry about outside hostilities, okay? Focus about what's going on close to home, okay? You, okay? I see you with a happy family. I see that you're concerned about your family. Okay, I'm seeing good health come to your family. And I'm seeing new love. You have here the sun. 
Ooh, hello. Penelope, this for you? <laughs> I think I think this man came out just for Penelope because she's saying, did Hades enter the chat? Is this him? Penelope, that's for you. <laughs> I'm seeing a new relationship. Okay. Pisces, I'm seeing I'm seeing someone new. Are they gonna come uh Scorpio season? Maybe not. Everyone's on different timelines. And again, what are shifts? What are shifts? There are a multitude of shifts that occur for actualized, materialized change. So I'm seeing a shift in your connections. I'm seeing a change in your connections. Okay, romantic connections. There is someone here that some of you may, meet, may be meeting this Scorpio season. Some of you, there's just going to be a shift in the energy, a little tweak, right? I am Eastern time, yes. Yeah. I put Eastern EST in the community post just to let people know. But yes. Not all of you. Okay, not all of you, but some of you, this uh, new person. <laughs> I feel like everyone knows someone that looks like this. <laughs> um, I had a problem with this deck at first because all of the people are just like, you know, there's no there's no color in any of these cards. But, you know, whatever. Um, anyway, men holding a heart. Not all of you, but some of you, this um, this energy, okay, this person comes with a family, like uh, comes with kids. I'm seeing them with kids already. That's for some of you, not all of you, not all of you, just some of you, maybe one, okay. Yeah, worth waiting for and express your love, okay. Oh, yeah, I'm, like, nervous to do uh, Virgo's reading. You deserve love. You are lovable. I feel like what's transforming for you this Scorpio season is you realizing your worth. I see the word worth here. I see your expression of love is going to be different. I see you expressing yourself differently to others because you have your community, family, caring connections. Like, that's what's transforming for you this Scorpio season is – is your expression of love, not only to yourself, but other people. I feel like Pisces, you, ex you extend yourself to others a lot. You expend a lot of energy to other people when you could be turning that inwards. Okay. Turning that inwards. The sun, look at you bathing in, bathing in this bowl. Hello with the sun. Spirit wants you to turn the love that you send out in the Scorpio season. That's what they want you to do. That's what they want you to do. You're, you're extending too much energy out. It's draining you. It's draining you. You got to fill that cup. I'm going to pull some tarot on this. Release your ex. Some of you may be holding on. Yeah. Some of you may be holding on to an ex that's not coming back. I don't know if you're waiting for someone to come back, but I'm sorry, but no, no, they're not coming back. Spirit is saying no reconciliation, release your ex. Some of you are extending a lot of energy to an ex. That's not for all of you, okay? That's for some of you. Just take the messages as they resonate. I'm going to get some shaman oracles, and then I, wa I want to pull a few tarot on this. Whew, gestation period, number 63. I, heard, I just heard they got something in the tunnel. Tunnel? Funnels. Sorry. <laughs> they got, I'm like, what? <laughs> Me and spirit sometimes. I'm just like, I can't hear you. Can you say that again? No, not tunnel. I'm so sorry. That's me. I did. I misheard. And then I laughed and they're just like funnel. You got something in the funnel. 
gestation period, winter's dream, okay, something is in the funnel. Something is like in the in the birth canal, okay, ready to be, ready to be birthed. I feel like this Scorpio season, oh, you have here inspiration, joyful news, number 33. Give me one more on that. <laughs> okay, this is really for someone, okay? Again, not all Pisces. You have here, oh, sorry. You have here reconciliations twice. Reconciliation. Reconciliation in the reverse here, okay? Whoever is hold whoever is holding on to an ex, you're wanting, praying, watching tarot, thinking, are they gonna reconcile with me? Whoever this is for, spirit is saying no. You're extending too much energy to your ex. You're extending too much energy to a connection that is no longer. You're concerned about it. There's someone new here that is going to inspire you. Spirit is saying surrender to the changes that are coming in your life. Okay. Surrender to the changes. And what did I say earlier? I said someone here, this Pisces energy that I'm picking up on, you're concerned about the changes because you don't know what those changes are. You don't know if they're good. You don't know if they're this. You don't know if they're that. But are changes ever bad? Changes are for your highest good. It's your perspective if you think something has changed for the worst. But changes are always for your highest good. Spirit is saying surrender. You're going to find inspiration in the changes to come. Look at this blank contract. Of course, you don't know. You don't know what's going to change. I feel like because the future is not set in stone. It's not set in stone. The wheel is about to turn. It's interesting because I'm seeing the wheel turn. And as the wheel turns, this pen is it's going to start moving and writing. I'm seeing a script as the wheel turns. The wheel hasn't turned yet. I mean, like, the wheel is, like, always in motion. But I'm seeing, like, whatever, like, it's, like, picking up momentum but I'm seeing like the pen, I'm seeing it writing. Okay. But it's like, I think that's why spirit wants you to go within, go inwards, whatever you're extending out, put it in. Okay. Some of you might be required right now to set some intentions. Some of you need to revisit some intentions because some of you, your intentions are here. Spirit is saying you're extending a lot of energy to something that isn't. Sorry if I triggered someone. Because something else is in the birth canal, gestation period. And I feel like it's this man holding a heart. You have someone someone new here that's coming in for you that's going to be really caring. Okay? This is a new, new relationship that's coming in for you. So release your ex for whoever that Pisces message is for. Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow is that lunar eclipse, full moon energy. All right, we are on Leo. Okay, I gotta take a sip of my water. Mm. All right, thank you for becoming a new member. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You guys know, have no idea how excited I am to do memberships. I'm so excited because we're going to do mandala readings. Have you guys seen my my huge book of spirits? Oh, my God, it's huge. It's like this big. Um, we're going to do lives. We're going to pull cards for people. I'm going to do collective reads just for members. And I did them affordable. It's not like crazy prices. So, you know, I want everyone to, to benefit, right? For the highest good of all, right? All right, Leo. Did I say, yeah, Leo. Leo is next. 
just give me a few a few more shuffles and I also want to ring the bell so just cover your ears or turn down the volume please I'm not burning sage because it is unethically sourced. Sometimes I burn rosemary, bay leaves. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. But the bell is the best for dispersing energy. Oh, you're nursing your little Leo. All right, Leo. For Leo. I'm hearing sirens. I can hear them outside. Leo. Leo. If you're a main female, Leo. Family room, Leo. Oh, I see you entering. Well, I see you entering an empty room that's not empty anymore. You hear mature man. Wow, you got a lot of people. Mature woman, mature man, main female, family room. Are you feeling really social? <laughs> Are you feeling really social? The child. Is there a pathway? Let me get one more. House? Yeah, the family room. Okay, let this download in. Hold on. Let me go to... Let me see what's going on. I definitely see a new beginning. Defin this is definitely new beginning. But this is an this was an empty room. This was an empty house. I'm seeing an empty house. I'm seeing an empty room. Thank you, Shelly, for joining. Thank you for joining the channel. I'm seeing an empty room. I'm seeing an empty house. I'm seeing a pathway to okay, just let me just bear with me, okay? Because I'm seeing I'm seeing it energetically and then it'll it'll fold. <laughs> okay, I'm seeing a pathway to the house. You get to the house, it's empty. You get to the family room, it's empty. All of a sudden, it's filled. It's filled with a family. It's filled with children. It's filled with it's filled with life. That's very symbolic. That is that may be literal for some of you. Okay, some of you really want to start your own family. Okay. Some of you really want to start your own family. Some of you really want to have kids. Some of you really want to get like you want a home. You want you want you have like a setup of how you want your family room to look like. Okay, that you can take this as literal. Okay, for others of you. I'm seeing this like really I'm seeing like an empty, like an empty space and you're going to start filling it. You're filling, you're filling the empty room. Gem and I had this, I think last year, filling the empty room. You could be connecting with the Gemini. Wow. This Scorpio season, I feel like you're, this Scorpio season for you, Leos, you're starting, okay, you're, I feel like you're restarting something, right? You've There's some kind of restart button that's been hit on something here for Leo. But you're not starting from scratch. You're starting from experience, mature man. Look at this main female holding a rose. Yeah, you're not starting from scratch. You're starting from experience. That's why this mature man is here with that child. Wow. You're starting from experience, not from scratch. Okay, what the? This is 2021. Oh, I'm getting a, I'm getting a weird time, time jump for Leo. Leo, okay. 
2021 was how long ago? Two years ago? Two or three years ago? Two years? The score, oh, whatever, Scorpio season if, of 2021, there was some kind of shift for you. Scorpio season in 2021, there was a shift. When this pathway started to open. I feel like this ties into the Leo reading that we did where I said you're changing the, the price of what it costs to access you, the house. Look, you put a gate on your house. You're changing the price of what it costs to ask, access you. But you you did you tried to do something in 21. It didn't work. Right now, this Scorpio season feels like a, a restart, but you're not starting from scratch, the child. You're starting this, this new beginning here from experience, the mature man and the main female. You're doing something differently this Scorpio season. You're, 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 you're doing something better. Yeah, you're filling the empty room. I, I kid you not. There are two paths ahead. You already took one path. Look at look at what this says. There are two paths ahead. You have here a pathway. Okay, Leo, you took that first path. You took that first path. You said no. <sighs> Fuck it. I messed up or I, I fucked up. That didn't work. You tried something last Scorpio season in 2021. It didn't work. You took the first pass. Now, this Scorpio season, 2023, you're doing something different. You're taking the second pass. So there's there's this weird like time, time, time energy here. That's what I'm seeing. There's a person here that you're meeting on the second path. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Look at this. Clear and activate. Create sacred space. Number nine. You're, you're creating something different here in the family room in the house. You're creating sacred space in the family room and in the house. That sacred space is the empty room. You're creating sacred spaces here in your reality. You're creating sacred spaces filled with awakened spirits. Filled with awakened spirits. Do, okay, do you remember in the beginning, I was I was like, are you social? You're filling the house with energies that are alive. And here spirit is saying awakened spirit. You're filling the spaces in that house, in that family room with awakened spirits. You're manifesting like crazy. You're, you're also manifesting a, a man a, or, or a woman and you're manifesting a child. You're, you're manifesting awakened spirits. Uh, do you know what that means? You're, it's souls. You're manifesting souls. You're manifesting soul family. You're, you're manifesting. Some of you, you have a, you have a child. You have a, you have a spirit of a child that's around you. Some of you could feel this spirit child. This is this is a child that that you're bringing into this world. For those of you, that's for those. Of I love you guys so much. For those of you that are resonating with this child, they're they're, they're spirit child, and you're gonna awaken their spirit. They're gonna come into this world. A spirit baby, yeah. Damn. <laughs> yep. 
Yes, Ariel. Damn, Leo. Yeah. Yep. I love each and every one of you. Like this is this is some powerful stuff. You're awakening spirits. You're filling you're filling your home with with souls. You're aligning yourself to, to if 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 you if this is if this is for I'm picking up on a group of Leos like you really want to start a family. Like you really want to start a family. This Scorpio season what's transforming for you? Is this energy? This energy that you're manifesting, this energy that you're manifesting is picking up speed this Scorpio season. Again, if if you don't want this child, if, if you can't have a child, I'm so sorry if that's not, you know, if you can't and like this triggers you. Okay, again, please take what resonates and, and just leave what doesn't. Just open the space for the people that are meant to hear this message. Okay? Holy, look at this. Eye of the needle, intentionality. Yeah, your intention, your intention to create this is unreal. It's so powerful. I'm getting this, I'm getting this, I'm getting this message. This is not going to be for everybody. This, this specific message here that I'm, that I'm about to say, some of you, you went down a path with someone here that you could not have a child with. You meet this person that you're manifesting, you're going to have a baby with them because that brought you a lot of pain. That's for someone out there. I'm so I'm 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 so sorry. I know I'm going to be triggering people. I'm so sorry. I love you guys so much. Just please know that I come with a lot of love. Okay, this is just love. All right? Some of you, remember there are two paths. There are two paths ahead. Remember, we're time jumping. There was something that occurred in 2021. You were in a relationship with someone. You tried to have a baby with them. Didn't work. You're manifesting like in like crazy right now. You're manifesting with such power, such truth, such intensity, such intentionality to create this sacred space and fill them with awakened spirits. You're, you're going to meet this person. Some of you already have met this person. Some of you have already met them. You're dating them right now. You're going to have a child with them. You're gonna you're you're gonna be like in awe. Like I tried to have a, I tried to have a baby with the other person. That didn't work. You weren't meant to. You weren't meant to bring in. You were not meant to bring in this child with that person. You were not meant. You were not meant. Oh my god! I'm getting this crazy message from this from this from this child in spirit. They chose you. Oh my god. Oh my god. They chose you to be their mother but they didn't choose that past person to be the father they chose they're choosing this person to be the father you've got to be kidding me you've got to be shitting me right now they're coming through your awakening spirits you're being aligned to the people that you're meant to experience this life with in this world right now in this timeline in this second path that we've been channeling for you for months, for months. This feels like a second chance. Yeah, spirit babies be like that though. Yes, yes. Oh, heart home. My heart just jumped. 
My heart just jumps. See, heart home. I'm telling you. Mm. Grace and generosity. That's that's the place that you're coming in. You're coming from a place of grace and generosity, pure purity, truth, your truth. Sorry if you can hear that. My my window is open. Um, Okay, but look at the two mouths together. See, you're probably with the person that you're going to bring in this child with. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Okay, just open up that space for 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 the others. Just welcome welcome in the space for the people that need to hear this message, right? We just send everyone love. Okay, we just send everyone love. And we just saw children again. Okay. Kevin, I was just thinking of you. I got into this reading. I'm like, Kevin? <laughs> I don't know what sign you are, Kevin. But, oh, sorry. Hair in my braces is so attractive. Oh, Leo. Damn, Kevin. I was thinking, I, I'm, I'm on Leo. <laughs> I'm on Leo. Oh, what was that? Mm. Oh. This is a this is the first path. This is the first path that this didn't work out with separation and, and deception. Because what did I say? They weren't it. They weren't it. Deception. They weren't it. But this person is it. You're very far removed from the first path that you took. You're extremely far removed from that first path that you were like, scratch that. I got it. I changed the price of what it costs to access me. Mm -mm. I'm redoing this. I'm redoing this. And you're very, very, very far removed. Like very far removed. Why? Because you chose to love yourself. You have a lot of self-respect. Mm, I love that. Let's go to the shamans. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I already went to the shaman. Sorry, I meant this one. Good, I'm glad it resonates. Mm. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you got you. Woo! adjacent possibilities number 24 just like there are two paths you took one never mind let's go on the other one ba ba boom we talked about it and here spirit is just confirming adjacent possibilities that's why i felt so dizzy in the beginning of your reading because i felt time because Spirit is opening up these all these windows and possibilities because you're over here manifesting with such clear intention, such power to activate your sacred space here to fill this home, right? Not just a physical home, not just a, a physical family room, not just material, but your heart home with awakened souls, with awakened spirits to the people that you're meant to connect with, right? Your soul family and this child. It was all an adjacent possibility. You knew that there was something else. You knew that that spirit could open the window on the floor. A window on the floor? Yeah, a window on the floor. A doorway on the floor. Why not? Why not? People need to understand this Scorpio season, okay, that infinite pathways exist. And you have the divine right to access 
infinite pathways. You have the divine right to access infinite pathways. And that's what Leo, this is what Leo, this is what you, this is what you realized. It was your divine right. You realize it was your divine right to open up a second path. If that first one wasn't aligned to you. Contract number six. <laughs> this is a new, this is, mm, what did I say about that child? They chose you, but they didn't choose the person that you were connected with in the past. Now that you're with this, this person that you're currently with, that's a yes. Or someone that you are going to be meeting depending on your timeline. So the child chose you. The child didn't choose the old person as the mother or the father to come into this world. But now that you are with this new person or you're going to be meeting this new person, it's going to trigger, it's going to initiate this contract. That's why the door is open. It's going to initiate this contract. That's what I have for Leo. For, though, for others of you, okay, for others of you, Leo, that this Scorpio season, you're getting new possibilities that you didn't think were possible, right? But what did I say earlier? It's your divine right, and you know it's your divine right to access infinite pathways. Don't sell yourself short, okay? I feel like a lot of you already know this, but just to say it again, okay? I want to talk about that. Hold on. Let me clear this energy and then we're going to move into Scorpio in just a moment. Okay. Give me a moment before I get into Scorpio. We're probably going to get into some real shit. You don't know how much of a service you are to others. You do tech support for a missile and, de and defense company. It doesn't matter what occupation you have. Even you saying good morning to a stranger is being of service to others. Even you holding the door open for a stranger, smiling at a stranger, puts you in service to other people. It doesn't matter what you do. You are in service to others, honey. You are. Don't think that you're not because of your occupation. We all are. We all are. I want to have some chocolate. Hold on. Maltesers. This is not, um, they didn't sponsor me or anything like that. It was not like that. Um, I just had these. And I'm craving chocolate. Thank you. I should have gotten a bigger bag, but I don't eat that much sweets. Don't tell me that chocolate is bad for me. I'm, I'm telling you, don't tell me anything today. I don't have patience for it. I know. But I want to eat a chocolate, so I'm going to eat some chocolate. <laughs> Just give me a minute before we time stamp Scorpio.
Yes. Johnny. Janetta, is that you, Johnny P? Yes, I love what you said there. In any way that you're trying to understand or grow yourself is also in service to others, 1,010%. Yeah. Thank you. I got my crow necklace on. This is a crow. I don't know if you guys can see, but that's the beak right there. Sorry, I'm trying to remember something. I'm in Scorpio's energy. Oh, 264, 246. 264 people, 246. That's interesting. 64, 46 mirror. But, um, all right, Uncensored Goddess, thank you so much for being here. I feel like I'm trying to remember something in Scorpio space. check something what was Scorpio's what was your what was your reading when did I do your reading just a few days ago right why do I feel like why do I feel like I'm trying to remember something in your space okay we're ready Okay, let's do Scorpio. Thank you. Scorpio. Main mail. Oh, hold on. Let me do the bell. Let me clean these. Hold on. Cover your ears. Hold on. Yeah, shift November 13th. Hold on. Trying not to go too crazy with the bell because I know it could be loud. Sorry, because that main mail kept coming out and I was like, no. Okay, sorry. Let me do this again. Better, better. Feels better. Okay. Scorpio. You know how many people I was surprised were birthday November 13th? Scorpio. Ooh. I just have all eyes on you. Oh, you're not shy. Mmm, change again at the bottom. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you so much. Okay, some, okay, Scorpio, just real quick. Some of you are going to have a change in occupation. Okay, some of you, like, outgrew your job. You're going to have a change in occupation. You're going to change your role in something here. Oh, you do not like rules. Mm-mm. <laughs> Mmm, you do not like rules. Look, look at this. This is 1222. This, this, uh, I just heard officer. I don't know if it's officer, but this is official person with the privileged lady. You have here community. A lot of people are going to be noticing you, looking at you, noticing you. You have here marriage. You do not like rules. There's something here. I feel like it was a person here that restricted you, limited you. You're out here shining. This Scorpio season, you're not let you're not abiding by any rules whatsoever. You're not abiding by any rules. I feel like you're going to come into a relationship that's really quite unconventional here. And a lot of people are going to notice how unconventional the relationship is or you are or there's like an unconventional marriage, or you're wearing an unconventional dress, or maybe you dress very differently. And people are like, they take notice of how you dress. They take notice of the things that you wear. I just see you again. Remember, I stepped into Scorpio season. I'm not taking questions, Sophia. 
I'm so sorry, sweet. I'm not taking this is not um this is not a stream where I'm taking questions. But if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, my prices is on my website, therarigazelle.com. Um, this is an all signs free read, girl. All right, so you can stick around and see what resonates. Okay. Um, what what was I saying? Oh yeah, I started out this reading. I got into I I started to get into Scorpio's energy, and Scorpio always makes me play with my comfort, my comfort zones. I see you really stepping outside of your comfort zone here. I see you challenging authority. I see you challenging authority here because this is an authoritative figure. I see you challenge, challenging authority, bending the rules. I just heard bending time. Oh, I don't want to channel time right now. <laughs> no. It was, was it you? It was you. I feel like that's a weird message for someone. Was it you? I think it was you. That's a message for someone. Anyway, this rest and rejuvenate came out in, in the reverse. It's number 19. But when I got, I think it was your reading that I stepped in and I felt like you wanted to just like push Libra to the side and you wanted to like come out very quickly. There's something that you really wanted to come out and do. And with rest and rejuvenate in the reverse, I feel like you've been resting. You've been resting. You've been rejuvenating. You're coming out, Scorpio. You're this season, you're coming out. You're you're putting out all the stops. You're not slowing down for nobody. And I'm seeing some kind of union, some kind of relationship here that's like really quite unconventional someone in your family may not like it I don't know if you're dating someone that has a lot of tattoos I don't know if you're dating someone that drives a really loud car I don't know if you're dating someone that's really like outside of the norm and kind of like just odd but you love them so much there's going to be someone here that doesn't like them if you're a woman holding a coin, yeah, see, this is a privileged lady energy. This is a privileged lady. You're going to come into some money. You're going to come into some money, Scorpio. Again, in, an, in, like, in, an, in a very, excuse me, in a very unexpected way, your, your, your coins are going to change. Remember, I said your occupation is going to change. Your occupation is going to change. I'm seeing here, Scorpio, regarding your finances, regarding your work, I'm seeing that you're doing something very unique, very different, something that you've always wanted to do. You're finally going to do it. But I see that you're going to be working smarter for your money, not harder. Working smarter, not harder. Financial constraints in the reverse. Okay? So financial constraints is over. Okay, you're leaving a job that not only constrained you, like your your abilities, your, your creativity, you're stepping into something that you really want to do and it's going to get you out of financial constraints. Okay, so if you've been feeling financial constraints, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. Oh, I love that for you. If you're the thinking man, he came out into the reverse. Someone's not thinking anymore. <laughs> Someone's not thinking anymore. Someone's ready. Let me shuffle these. Someone's ready. Goddess of the moon came up in the reverse. The garden and the gate. Wow. Yeah, look at this. Envy. It also came up in the reverse. I'm seeing like people, again, I'm seeing people envy you. 
I'm, I'm getting like even this card in the reverse. It's still like you're you're dealing with envious people, but I see you not caring with envy. I see you not caring, caring or carrying. I don't know, caring what other people think because you're this like privileged lady, this energy. All eyes on you. I said that earlier. Regardless if this card comes up in the upright or the reverse, you're dealing with people who are envious very differently. I feel like you're not caring anymore. There's a lot of people that are also very envious of this relationship. You have here the garden and the gate. It came up in the reverse. I See the restrictions? See the rules? You're breaking the rules. There's something about public here. I see you publicly publicly connecting with this person if you haven't met this thinking man or this person man woman whatever if you haven't met this person romantically i feel like you're going to meet them outside i feel like scorpio you have connected or you dealt with people romantically that really limited you i don't know if someone like told you how to dress or they felt embarrassed that you wore something outside maybe you really wanted to wear a really fancy hat outside and they were just like why are you wearing that hat I'm just seeing someone that like limited your limit limited your expressive energy and I'm seeing that you're gonna be meeting someone who's like a free thinker here with the thinking man yeah wow resonating you have here whale song resonating. Some of you, your animal spirit is the whale. You have here integrity, lost compass, getting back to integrity. You have here the root girl, the disowned self, adaptability, beloved, radical acceptance. Let this download in. Give me a minute. And deep diver. Diving into a task. Yeah, you're diving into some kind of new occupation. Okay, you're, you're taking some kind of risk here. Okay, um, this is this is like your, your love. Okay, your love reading is really coming through here. I feel like you really connected to people, especially like people in relationships that really try to limit you. Really try to like lock you up. Or like you may have dealt with people that always wanted to be in a relationship with you and, and you didn't want to be in a relationship with them. And then the people that you wanted, they didn't necessarily want you or want a relationship immediately. But you healed some aspect of yourself here. You healed. Okay, the disowned self. You healed, root girl. Okay, you healed an aspect of yourself and you started to adapt to your power. You started to adapt to your power. You started to stand out. You started to be proud of who you, who you are. You're going to connect with someone that radically accepts you for you, radical acceptance. You and this person really get to like really work well together. And there's a lot of eyes, all eyes on you. Envy. Remember, it doesn't matter if this card is in the upright or the reverse. You're dealing with envious people one way or another. It's just a matter of like your perspective. I feel like you just don't care about envy, envious people. You don't care. But you and this person are very different to other people. You're both so different to other people. It makes people like want to look and stare. There's also going to be a person in your past here that's going to be envious of this new person. I can feel it. Because you're not resonating with them anymore. You're resonating with another person. You're also resonating in another frequency. I'm going to get into a spiritual energy here. Just one moment. Yeah, you have here Ascended Masters. Create open communication. You have here 222. Two, two. Critical judgment. Yeah, you're not judging yourself anymore. You're not judging yourself anymore. You have your open intuition. Okay, so goddess of the moon is in the reverse. I felt like something about the intuition here. Something within the intuition. Okay, I felt like a lot of you, okay, you dealt with someone that really blocked your 
or um, created some kind of blocks around your judgment or they clouded your judgment. They, they, they made you question your, your, your intuition. I don't know if you dealt with a narcissist, but this person like really made you question what you felt. This person triggered, triggered this aspect of yourself here to return with the disowned self. I feel like what's transforming for you this Scorpio season is you don't give a fuck anymore, to be blunt. You don't care anymore. You don't care what people think. You don't allow other people to put restrictions on you or rules. You don't want to play by the rules anymore. There's also a job here that you don't like the rules of the job, so you want to do something else. You do not like feeling confined this Scorpio season. This Scorpio season is going to challenge you, Scorpios. You're going to feel like, do I feel confined here? If yes, then I got to change it. You do not like feeling constrained, even financially. That's going to change. That's why it came up in the reverse for you. And it's number 13, which is Scorpio energy. Any kind of constraint, you're going to get out of it this Scorpio season. Any kind of confinement, you're going to get out of it this Scorpio season. Do you hear me? You don't resonate in resistance. You don't resonate in confinement. You do not resonate in that energy. You resonate in energies that free your mind, that free your body, that free your soul, that challenge you. You really want to challenge. You're adapting to a new energy. You're adapting to a new energy. And it's going to challenge you to to let go of these limiting constraints. Some of you, your intuition has been constraint, but you don't even like that. Because you're powerful, you're intuitive. What do you mean a limited intuition? No, there's no limited intuition with you, Scorpio. Absolutely not. There's no limited intuition. There's no constraint intuition. I'm going to open my intuition. What? It's almost like you remembered. Remember I was saying I was getting to your energy and I was just like, I feel like I'm remembering something. Oh, yeah. I just remembered my power. Oh, yeah. I remembered how powerful my intuition is. Oh, yeah. I remember how incredibly sexy I am. So I'm going to start wearing what the fuck I want to wear. And I don't care who stares at me. You remembered. You remembered. And you're going to dive deep in that remembrance. You're diving deep in the remembrance. You're diving deep in the resonance. You're going to open new channels. Ascended masters open communication and channel your knowledge, critical judgment. You're going to start channeling new information. You're going to open new channels. Someone else got this. Someone else got this. I don't remember who. Talking about open channels. Oh. I feel. Oh, look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. Do you see those eyes piercing at the back? Do you see that? Look at them. Do you see that right there? You awakened. You awakened. Oh my God, how do I even explain that? It's not, I don't know, an oversoul, your oversoul, your higher self. I don't know. But you awakened like this. Oh, I don't even know. I don't even know how to say that. I don't even know how to say that spirit. I don't. Let me get an animal oracle card. I don't know. It's something I've never channeled before. I don't even know what word I would use. I don't even know. 
I don't know. It could be an oversoul. It could be your higher self, but it feels like it feels more than that. It feels more than that right there. It feels crazy. It feels crazy. Because you dove deep. You, you, I don't know. I don't know. Let me shuffle these. I don't know. It feels some, it feels like something I, I actually have not even given a word to. Like, I don't even know what I would call that. It doesn't feel like an oversoul. It doesn't feel like a higher self. It feels like more than that. And I don't even, I don't even know. I don't know. So I guess like, just to say it, let's just say it's your higher self. Is it an ascended higher self? I, I don't know. It feels, it feels crazy. You're okay. Yeah. It's yeah. It feels, it feels really pure. Um, you're going to start knowing things. You're going to start knowing things and you have no idea how you got that information. You're going to start, okay, for example, you're going to start knowing scientific facts, okay, things about energy that are scientifically proven without have, without reading a book about atoms or, or, and, or, I don't know, science. It's like there's some kind of knowledge that you're being downloaded, but it's been scientifically proven, but you've never read something on paper, words to retain that knowledge. It just comes to you. It comes to you. Yeah, clear knowing. Yeah, clairvoyance, clear knowing. It's like really, I don't know. It's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Clairvoyance. Look at the eyes. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. Look at that figure behind. Okay. The behind right here. Right. We, we kept saying this. The eyes. And that energy behind like your head okay this could be like a subconscious mind energy but look at the many eyes right this is a peacock look what it says vision wisdom beauty and guardianship the many eyes okay the many eyes but i also started out saying all eyes on you right in the peacock's tail's feather are associated with vision and wisdom In Greek mythology, the bird was a symbol of the goddess Hera, who kept it in her temple, a many-eyed guard. Muslims of Java believe the peacock guards the gate to paradise. In Europe, peacock mythology has varied and depending on the culture may represent um, a good omen or symbolize the soul. It may symbolize the soul. That's the energy here. This is your soul. Remember I was saying it could be like an um, an oversoul. <sighs> well, that's what's transforming for you this Scorpio season. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Enjoy it. Damn, that's crazy. We're going to move on to Sagittarius next. Just give me a moment. Give me a moment, one moment. Why do I feel like we always start out really lighthearted with these energies and then they get like crazy deep at the nearing the end of each sign? <laughs> oh, we're almost halfway through. Not too bad, not too bad. I'll be here for four hours. got all the energy in the world. What do you mean? I'm going to take a bath and then I'm going to sleep. That's what I'm going to do after. 
I'm going to take a bath. I'm going to watch a reality show that doesn't take too much of my brain cells. And then I'm going to cuddle my dog and I'm going to sleep. Well, how's your Friday night going? <sighs> you know, sometimes I really do say to myself, Thank you, Kathy. Kathy, I love you so much. Thank you so much for your, for supporting me. Guys, can I just also say that you can support me in other ways, like um, by sharing, <laughs> by liking the videos. But like I also have an Amazon wish list that I list in the description box of all my videos. I have an Amazon wish list and I buy charms like constantly. Okay, because I do personal reading. So I buy charms all the time. Okay, I always try to change it up. So the charms are on my Amazon wish list. I use them for personal readings and I give them out to people um, to use as talismans. And I think it's just special, you know, for me to just give, um, you know, to people who purchase a reading. Um, but you can purchase those for me. Um, they're not that expensive, but, you know, that's another way that you can help support me. And I really appreciate that. And I just moved into my new place. So I know a lot of you have gifted me some things from my home. Like, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But yeah, anything like the charms, the candles, like, um, yeah, that, that I use that for the channel. I use that for personal reading. So I appreciate that. I appreciate, I appreciate anything. Thank you so much. All right, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. When did I do your reading? Did I do you? Yeah, I did. Why do I need to see? I did this with Scorpio too. Oh, yeah, you're bringing in the future. Okay, let me see. What did I channel here? Hmm. Gifts of power to cast in the future. Okay. Let me get a sense of your energy. These are things I already channeled, but let me see. That was the previous reading. Oh, yeah, the bell. Thank you. Okay, cover your ears or turn on the volume. Okay, that got stuck. That got stuck right here. Me got stuck in front of me. I'm not blocked. Maybe. Maybe I am. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I am a Sagittarius. How does it sound for you guys? Is it nice or is it like you don't like the bell? One more shuffle. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. <sighs> Ooh. Hey, the wealthy man came out. You like it? Okay, good. You prefer the sound bowl? Yeah, I don't have, I do. I have a little sound bowl, but I don't know. I like the bell. Wealthy man. Sagittarius. Courtship, excuse me, someone's courting you, someone's, someone's courting you, that's too many, someone's birthday may be on April 13th, what is that, that's Aries, we have an Aries energy here, wow, the child again, oh, <sighs> Sagittarius. <gasps> Excuse me. Sudden wealth, 777, and great fortune. You have your imprisonment, the child, courtship, and wealthy man. Sagittarius, this Scorpio season, you're coming into some serious wealth. Great fortune, sudden wealth. This is like the sun energy. 
Oh, I just heard beggars. I just heard beggars. I just heard, I kid you not, I just heard beggars. This is what I see, beggars. What is that saying? Beggars, not choosers? What is that? I haven't heard that saying. What is that saying? Some, what is beggars and choosers? What is that saying? Beggars can't be choosers. Thank you, Ella. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Beggars can't be choosers. Oh. Wow, you're going to come into some great fortune. You're going to come into some sudden wealth. There's going to be some like, there's going to be like this, this begging energy beggars. These people, um, these people did not believe in you. These people did not think that you would succeed. These people didn't think that you would ever be where you are or where you're headed or where you have grown to. These people didn't think that you would ever get there. But they're going to start to see that you'll come into some great success, that you're going to be showered with affection. This is a new beginning. This could be, this could also be that child energy. Who had that again? Was that pet Leo? Leo, Leo had that child, right? Some of you could be connecting with a Leo, okay? Because this is a sun energy to me. And we had that powerful message of that spirit child with Leo's energy. Some of you are connecting to a Leo or some of you have Leo and Sagittarius in your chart. So this is going to resonate for those that resonated with Leo. It's going to resonate here, okay? Uh-uh. They didn't believe in you. Some of you, you didn't believe in yourself. Some of you, you didn't believe in yourself. No, no, hold on. You didn't believe in yourself, this imprisonment. But you got yourself out. Self-saboteur, yeah. <laughs> Where's all the self-sabotage energies at? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, you self-sabotaged. You didn't believe in yourself. You sabotaged something for yourself, but now... Ooh. Yeah, you reclaimed... Okay, so here... Okay, I'm going to shuffle these because this, this came out weird, but I'm getting the number 336. But this said astral travel, caution needed. And then you have third eye vision, Re reclaim your mind. You, you're reclaiming something here. You could be reclaiming your power, calling back your power. Um, what you didn't, you, some of you, again, you didn't believe in yourself. But this caution needed. Oh. I just, okay, so they gave me a vision and I just heard, um, be careful, be careful staying there or else you won't get back. I don't know. Okay, let me, let me break this down. Be, okay, let me break this down. Bye, Penel bye Penelope. Let me break this down. Some of you stayed in an energy too long or you're about to or like spirit is cautioning you don't stay there too long. Don't stay there too long. This could be darkness. Don't stay in the darkness too long. Don't stay in 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 the shadows for too long. Don't don't stay in the energy of worry for too long. Don't stay in the energy of of being timid or shy or reclusive or don't don't stay there too long. You'll get yourself stuck there. They're saying caution. If you travel there, you may get stuck there. And then it's going to be like harder for you to get out. 
They're saying you have all the capabilities right now to reclaim it, to reclaim yourself and to get yourself out. You've stayed in an energy for too long. If you've stayed in paranoia too long, whatever it is, paranoia, depression, anxiety, um, worry, whatever it may be, sadness, the depth, the darkness, if you stay there for too long, you're going to imprison yourself. You're like a jailer, a self-jail. That's why the child is here. Because you're reclaiming yourself. This Scorpio season, it's time for you to reclaim yourself, Sagittarius. Oh, mess. It's they're dragging me right now. Are you kidding me? You feel dragged? You feel triggered? This is what I used to do. I used to imprison myself. I used to stay in energies for far too long until spirit told me, if you don't get out, it's going to be, you're going to, you're going to have to work 10 times as harder to get yourself out. They'll be there. Your guides will be there. Your guides will always be there to assist you and to get you out to help you, but in order to stay out of the energy that you imprisoned yourself in, you have to know what you have to do to not go backwards. Because some of you got yourself out and then you went back in and then you got yourself back out and then you self-sabotaged and went back in. It's been a vicious cycle for some of you. To so some of you, you had a miraculous energy here. You had a miracle. Spirit brought you some kind of miracle with the child energy. I can feel it with the sudden wealth, with the great fortune. They brought you, they brought you something. Spirit saying they brought you something, but then you self-sabotaged. <sighs> Don't do this to me, Spirit. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't go back. Some of you are out. Some of you are out. It's time to learn the lesson of what not to do. You already know what you do to get yourself back there. Spirit is saying great fortune, sudden wealth, courtship, a wealthy man. Great fortune is anything, not just money. But fortune is anything that you want, that you make it. This could be spiritual evolution. This could be just being happy. That can be great fortune. Feeling peace, that is great fortune. But Some of you don't really care about money. Like you don't, you do not really, like you care about money, like you know money is required, you know money is needed, but you don't like, you don't sit in the energy of greed. You don't sit in the energy of greed or or desperation, or you, you don't do things for the intention of, oh, this is going to bring me money. If I do that, that's going to bring me money. If I, you don't do that. So spirit, spirit really likes that and spirit's going to give you some kind of blessing because you're in that, you're in that energy of, of, of like genuine heart. Okay. I don't even want, I don't even want to touch these. I don't want to touch that. Oh, I have to. <laughs> There's one more in here and I don't even know. They want me to go here, but there is love. Okay. We're going to get to love. We're going to get into some lighthearted energies. Don't worry. We're going to get to lighthearted energies. Okay. Just got to drag you all first. The, the, you know, spirit just has to hurt us a little bit, you know, or crack us open, let the light in, right? And then we can start feeling all lovey-dovey. Okay. All right. What you want? What do you want out of here? No. Oh. Oh, oh, that's nice. That's lovely. Thank you. <laughs> I was just, I was scared for a second because these cards are no joke. You have here um, 
sacred divinity. Okay, there are two paths. And then you have here new direction. Didn't I say there was a Leo energy and Leo got this card? Leo had this card with two paths and the first path didn't work. And then, you know, now Leo is doing the second path, right? Creating and manifesting. So there is a new direction here, Sagittarius, that you're moving towards. Look at all this gorgeous yellow energy. Oh my God. What is that? Solar? I'm feeling the solar plexus. Ooh, that's like where anxiety lives, the solar plexus. I'm feeling anxiety, your gut, your instincts all lie here in your solar plexus. Your gut is telling you, let's move into a new direction. Move into a new direction. You know what new direction to move into. You know what direction you need to move into. You know what path works for you and what path doesn't work for, with you for you because you've done it before. You've done the back and forth. You've done the, oh, I got out of self-sabotage and you had these lighthearted energies come to you and then you went back. So I, I'm seeing here that you know what works for you and what doesn't work for you. So you know, okay, you know which direction works for you. You know what direction you need to go. It's for you, Sagittarius, it's about sticking to what works for you and not feeling tempted to go back to the hurt and the pain that you were so comfortable in feeling because this is what feels uncomfortable. Sometimes we get com we feel comfortable in the discomfort. Sometimes we feel so comfortable in the pain and in the imprisonment. Sometimes we do feel comfortable in, in confinement, but you're also another sign that hates con confinement. Are you kidding me? I have free spirit tattooed on me because I'm always reminding myself, I can't be here. You can't be here and have your soul desire and want and, and want to be free and dream and receive and create and manifest. You know what direction you, you need to move into. Spirit is saying, you know what to do. This Scorpio season is going to tempt you to not go back. This Scorpio season for this Sagittarius, what's transforming for you, the path has already transformed. The new beginning has already come in. There's going to be sudden wealth. There's going to be great fortune. Yes, that's sudden. Okay, you, you may not know when that comes in. There's courtship. There's a wealthy man. We're going to get into new love. Okay, but this path, this new beginning has already come in. This new path has already come in. It's already transformed. Your lesson this, this Scorpio season is to not go back to what you used to do that got you trapped. Don't self-sabotage. The path is filled with beautiful things. It's time for you to just, just experience them. They're saying just keep stepping forward. Keep stepping forward. You're so welcome. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Okay, let me grab one more. Oh, two came out. Okay. Wow. You have here grace and generosity that fell with the courtship and wealthy man. Okay, I'll get into love messages in just a little bit. Okay. You're moving out of stagnation. Sagittarius, you're moving out of stagnation. You have here dust devil. Moving out of stagnation. I just heard second initiation. You have a second initiation. You've Okay, this is so, this is. You've, you've been, okay, you've been initiated in this before, but
but you didn't take the opportunity. Spirit is going to do a second initiation to get you in and to get you to stay. <laughs> because you like to self-sabotage and go back. <laughs> so there's some kind of second initiation here. It's like a second rebirth into this new energy and new cycle that you've already been rebirthed into. You're going to bring around this opportunity again. Okay, and this time you're going to take a deep breath in this new cycle. And this time you're going to feel the beautiful inspiration that comes with it. This time spirit wants you to not sit still. It's time to get a move on. Okay, spirit wants you to get a move on. I'm seeing November 15th. I believe that's still Scorp that's Scorpio, right? It's still Scorpio season, November 15th. There's something about November 15th, okay? A resourceful energy. You're going to see some kind of resourcefulness that comes from this energy that you've been initiated into for the second time. This feels like a second opportunity, but also opportunities are going to start coming in that you haven't seen before, okay? That you haven't seen before. You have your 11-11. Ooh, you have your 11-11. Sudden wealth, Okay. Sudden wealth, 11-11. But 11-11 is also what? New beginnings, right? You have your beginner's mind taking a first breath into this new cycle that you're being initiated for the second time into. You're finally taking it. You're finally taking some kind of opportunity. You're finally taking some kind of energy. Spirit is saying, take it. Take this energy. It's going to get bigger. Take this opportunity. You're going to be surprised to where it leads you. So in this Scorpio season, what's transforming for you is, is this opportunity that you're going to finally hold in your hand. It's going to transform right in front of you. Because I see it getting bigger and bigger. Great fortune and sun and wealth. Just take it. It may look small, the child, but it's going to grow. Take it. Spirit saying, just take this and just zip it. Okay, just take it and be grateful. Okay. <laughs> and 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 see what happens. Just see what happens. It's almost like, okay, it's almost like Sagittarius, you take it. Okay, you've taken this before. You've taken it and like, you know, nothing happened for a day. And you're just like, let me go back. I'm gone. Let me go back. Let me go back to imprison myself. I didn't see nothing. Nothing happened. <sighs> They're saying take it. Be still with it. Let it unfold. You're going to be glad you did. Okay. It, it, sometimes Sagittarius cannot be still. Okay. Sometimes Sagittarius cannot be still. Spirit is saying... Be still with the energy that we give you, okay? Because it's going to get moving. It's going to get moving. I'm seeing, I keep seeing November 15th. Okay, let's do this love. Because there's a wealthy man, okay? Courtship. Someone here wants to court you, okay? Someone here I, I feel like is very, very like traditional in their ways. You may meet someone um, in a traditional way. I don't know. But I'm seeing courtship, okay? <sighs> I'm definitely a firm believer that even when we're still, we're moving because we're constantly moving. It's a constant, um, we're constantly moving even though, even though we're still, right? No, I haven't done a, uh, Aquarius yet. I haven't done Aquarius yet. Very soon. Clearly decide what it is that you want. Yeah, let go of control, Sagittarius. This Scorpio season, when it comes to your love life, you got to let go of control and expectations. I'm seeing expectations are really big for you. You expect them to have this or that or to look like that, all right? You got to let it go. Gotta let it go. I, I'm, I keep feeling this energy with Sagittarius that you're gonna be really surprised what these opportunities bring for you. Okay, you have your make the effort, 
great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay. If you're single, I'm seeing you meeting someone very soon. If you're in a connection, I see like um, this person is making the effort, making the effort to court you. What did I say? It's a courting. I said courting, courtship here. Someone's going to court you. Someone's going to make the effort. I see that you're putting up boundaries the Scorpio season when it comes to your dating. I did not, I did not do Aquarius yet, no. Yeah, you have your attraction, okay? Spirit is saying be open. When you, uh, when you stay in this energy of not wanting to release control or having expectations, you don't attract. You, you retract, okay? You actually self-sabotage, and then you push people away. So they're saying just be open, okay? Someone's going to make the effort very soon, okay? I'm seeing make the effort. I'm seeing someone court you. Let me get one on these. Thank you to Eve. Thank you to Eve. Eve is doing an amazing job taking time stamps from me. Thank you. Okay, let's get one, one on this and then we'll, we'll move forward. Hmm, you have your community. I see you connecting. I see you connecting to new, new friends. I see you connecting to new friends. Wow, you have your Archangel Metatron. Sorry, I blanked out. And another adjacent possibilities. Be open to the possibilities. What did I say with these opportunities? Spirit is saying to you, Sagittarius, to be open. Look at all the doors open. See, with what Leo, what did I say? Leo. Leo had this card. So some of you are definitely like, you have Leo in your chart or you're connecting to a Leo. But what I'm noticing with this card is like all the doors are open. So Spirit is saying be open to all the possibilities because they're sending you opportunities. You're going to be really surprised to where it leads you romantically as well. Um, let me take a look at this Metatron. This is a six shot, six chakra. So what, that's your third eye or... Yeah, clarity of thought, pers personal vision. When this card appears, it indicates a much greater clarity in your thought process and an expanded perspective toward broader horizons. Some new perceptions are taking hold and the clouds of confusions are clearing. This could be a new beginning for you're on your way to developing a deeper insight about what's going on in your life and why. Spirit talked about new beginnings. Now is the time to focus on your personal vision. What do you want your life to look like in the years ahead? Create a clear picture of that and support it with daily thoughts. The insight you need to create a vibrant life is available to you. We channel this. You're already in your new beginning. You're already there. This is your second initiation into this. It's just a matter of not doing the energies of self-sabotage that imprisoned you. Don't be the jailer. Don't be the jailer. And in the reading that we did for Sagittarius, I talked about the gifts of power. What did I, I talked about the gifts of power to cast in the future. And that's what Archangel Metatron is talking about. So have a clear vision, okay? Clearly decide on what it is that you want now when it comes to romance, okay? I feel like for a lot of you, this could be a new person, but for those of you that are dealing with someone, I see that they're going to start making more effort courting you, okay? Stop being indecisive. Indecision in the reverse. Okay, be clear, that's what Spirit's saying. Be clear. All right. We are moving forward. We're moving forward to Virgo. Ooh. No, I'm going to skip Virgo. Sorry. I'm going to skip Virgo. 
I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We're going to do Virgo. We're going to do Virgo. I'm pretty sure a lot of people clicked off as I said that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Holly. I'm going to take a sip of my water. Thank you. Mm. I mean, I did the scarring channeled messages for Virgo today, so I don't know if the same energy is going to come through. Oh, sorry. Uh, ears. Cover your ears or turn down your volume. Bells. That's interesting. It's the same rhythm. This one wanted to move in the same rhythm. There's something about the same rhythm. Sorry, let me just stretch my shoulders. There's something here about the same rhythm. Um, yeah. The same rhythm. I did all your placements in a row. Wow, aren't you lucky, Tina? <laughs> aren't you lucky? Now you can go and rest, girl. And I can enjoy your Friday or stay. <laughs> all right, Virgo. Virgo and then Capricorn. Okay, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Taurus. All right, that's the order of... I, I don't even know why I chose this order, to be honest. I just, like, I just scripted it. I don't know. It's just the way that I wanted to come out. Yeah. Can I tell you, like, I have to Google that for Virgo? Because I saw that vision and I'm just like, why is that star disappearing? And I'm like, that's a death of a star. So I had to Google what's death of a star. And it's like, it's all scientific. It's a supernova. And death of a star to that magnitude, a supernova, it triggers the birth of other stars. How crazy is that? That's real. That's science. And I was like, what is going on with Virgo? <laughs> Okay, we're ready. Virgo, please. Thank you, Spirit of the Most High. Thank you to my ancestors. Virgo. Virgo. Ooh, you're getting some realization. Oh, you're getting some truth. Mm, wait. That marriage card really wants to come out for a lot of people. I'm seeing 333. Oh, yeah, you worked really hard on something. Your hard work is going to pay off. Toil and labor, 38. Some of you work in a factory or you work, you, you, there's like a, I'm seeing a vendor belt with like a line. Like you, you, someone does that or like your parents did that. Some of you are, you come from really humble beginnings is something that I'm seeing here. You come from really humble beginnings. Yeah. Man. What is this? I'm getting past life. One more. Oh my God. This again? Oh, <gasps> this again, you just had that in your, in your previous reading, false, false prince to the true prince. You have here, you marriage wanted to come out with the house. I'm getting a lot of past life.
Yeah, courthouse. One more. Give me one more. Thief. High honor. And the lovers at the bottom. Man, this, this energy won't leave. Won't leave your space with this false person. False, the false prince. Thief. House, marriage, high honor, and the lovers. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. You want to know? Okay, I feel like the channel message that I did for Virgos today, that death of a star. When I finished channeling that, I kept feeling like it's the birth. It's because it gives birth to other stars, right? I feel like a lot of lovers are going to be revealed to you. A lot of like a lot of soulmates. I'm seeing this like I'm seeing um, like lovers, like lovers fight for you or something. Not, I'm seeing this very past life. Just give me a moment while this downloads in. This is connected to your previous reading, but also to your channeled messages from today. Yeah. Okay. So you have here the galactic healer. Move forward with an open mind. Number 17. Give me a moment. Let me just, just hold on. You have a lot of old perceptions that are dying, like old, like old. Per Hi, Shannon. You have you have a lot of old perceptions. Man, this is like the vision that I had. Okay, in your previous reading, I had a vision that I saw the hermit, and the hermit released the the release the star into the sky, and then this like last night or whenever the night before, you, the messages started to download in where that star died, and that star when it dies, scientifically, it gives birth, it gives rise. It gives birth to other stars in the sky. Those other stars in the sky are your perceptions. I'm seeing like a multitude of like um, of perceptions in the sky, like open windows. I'm seeing open windows in the sky with this galactic healer. There's something really interesting happening right now in like the galactics within the within the within the skies, okay, within the ethers that are shedding light down into your immediate into your immediate reality. You also have your energy signature, which says the past is in the present. Okay, so like time is an illusion. But in your channeled messages, I said that you're seeing further into the present moment. I'm getting this odd energy that you experienced something like this in the past, where in the past, you saw farther into your present moment, okay, which is like your future, but seeing you saw farther into the present moment, you saw a situation happening in the past and it's actually playing out here. Some of you knew about this false, false prince, right, with this false person that keeps appearing in your space since last month. You're seeing a lot of truths right now, and it's all happening from the stars. It's all happening from these, like, I keep seeing windows open up in the sky. I keep seeing that. They keep showing me that. These windows are just opening up in the sky.
Hold on. You're seeing a lot of truth. Yeah, something definitely opened. Definitely. It's that, yeah, eternal union at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, new direction. New love is forming. This is in your space. With that marriage card. You have, you have, okay, this Scorpio season for you, Virgo, you are, you're seeing a lot of truths about your life. You're seeing a lot of truths about your life. Some of you may even be start, you're going to start getting hits about your past life. New soulmates are going to be revealed. New soulmates are going to be revealed. Lies are going to come out. There's a thief around you, Virgo. There's a thief energy around you. New directions are going to come to light. It's it's funny because I I felt like You're seeing what's ahead of you. I feel like a lot of Virgos have the capability of really seeing what's ahead, like seeing the path ahead. Like, you know, you just know, okay? You just know what's a, what's ahead of you a little bit, right? Here, I'm getting the energy. You're going to see farther down the path, and that's happening for a reason. You're going to be seeing farther in on your path. That's what this turtle is bringing forward. I just heard longevity, right? Turtles represent longevity. They're also like the totem spirit animals of the world. Like they represent the world. They represent earth. They represent longevity. I'm just hearing long. You're seeing, you're seeing farther down the path. And you were able to do that in the past. You had a moment, okay, in your past. This could be recent past. This could be five, ten years ago. I don't know. Or maybe when you had a first awakening. Your first awakening. You were able to see something that you're currently experiencing today. Some of you may be having that, that like, I don't know, a, a prophecy. Um, uh, I don't know. But you saw something that, that was going to happen and it ended up happening. You have the capability this Scorpio season... You, you, yeah, sniffing out. You have the, this Scorpio season is really going to help you see farther down the path. You're going to be seeing thieves. You're going to be seeing false people. You're going to be seeing your past life and how hard you worked in your past life. You're going to get dreams and hits of your past life. Remember the sky, the 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 doors in the doors in the sky are all open. These are like per, these are like perceptions, these are information, the past is in the present energy, right? Here with energy signature. I just heard they left a signature on a star. I don't know what that means. You left a signature on a star. You left a signature on the star and you put it up in that sky and you told yourself, I'm going to find that. I'm going to find that. I don't know. I don't know what that means, but that's like some crazy shit. That's weird. <laughs> that's weird in the most amazing fucking way. You wrote something on a star. Like, I'm seeing it energetically, okay? I'm seeing it because I visualize energy. I'm seeing you write something on a star, throw it up into the sky, 
and said, I'm going to find you later. You found it. You found something because your perceptions started to open. Your perceptions, the windows in the sky, that the death of that star that you let go of, and then it gave birth to other stars in the sky, they all started to give birth. And what do you do with all these many stars in the sky? They're light. They're light that illuminates the path. And the, that light from the many stars that were birthed from that one star that died, that's the light that you can see farther down the path. That's the light that you're going to, that, that's all the lights in the sky, those stars. You're going to be able to see farther down into the path. I'm saying all this in the most like complex, the energy is presenting itself so complex, but the easiest way to say it is like, you're going to be able to see farther down the path. You're, you're going to be seeing so many truths. You're going to see so many truths. Do you see the sky? Do you see the sky here is lit up like this, like this turtle? That's the sky being lit up from your stars. That one star that died gave birth to other stars. That's the light in the sky. See the light behind the false person. See that light. You're going to see that light. It's shining right in front of the person that's false, saying that's false. They're false. Not it. It's not them. It's not them. It's not them. That's not the job. That's not the job. Nope. Nope. Not there. Not there. You're going to see it. I'm telling you right now, I feel something in the past life where you worked really hard, where you worked really hard in a past life and, 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 and there's someone here that took it, that took your hard work. Are you kidding me? That's not happening in this lifetime. Oh, no. Thank you so much, Rosie. That's not happening in this lifetime. Absolutely fucking not. You worked so hard in a past life and someone took it. Someone took your work. That's not happening in this lifetime. And if it happened in this lifetime, I'm so sorry that happened. Spirit saying that's not ever going to happen again. Because a star that's in the sky that died gave birth to other stars. And now those stars, all of them, the, the, in, the infinite of stars that are now burst are shedding light. And, and your open mind, it's like, okay, so I'm seeing this. I'm seeing like that, that one star that went up into the sky that died. As soon as that star died, it opened up your mind. You had a death, you had a death, you had a transformation, okay? When that transformation occurred, your mind opened. That's that death star, the, the star that died in my vision. So you had a death, you had an ending. You had some kind of transformation recently. I can feel it because I feel like your mind is open right now. Your mind is open. You set something free. Okay, you let it go. You had a death, you had an ending, you had a rebirth. In your rebirth, as soon as that ending hit, your mind just opened. As your mind opened, you found something. You found something that you put a signature on. You said, I'm going to find you. As soon as you find this energy, the past is in the present, right? These are truths, truths that you're going to find, okay? The truths that you're going to find, the entire path starts lighting up. You're going to start to see, you're going to start to see the energies in your reality a lot more clearer, okay? So do you see what I'm saying? Like all of these like complex energies, they're all like light, and they're all shedding light on these material energies in your reality. Okay? That's the way I'm seeing it.
that's the way I'm seeing it. I'm even seeing like the light, the stars in the sky from that star that died is in that lantern. Your, your light is everywhere. Your light is everywhere. Because it's everywhere you go. It's everywhere you go. You're going to see exactly who this false person is. You're going to see exactly who the thieves are. You're going to see exactly whatever energy that you resonate with in your reality that is not for you. You're going to see the truth. You're going to be aligned to something higher, high honor. I'm seeing like, I'm seeing. So I started out this reading saying like, I see, uh, yeah, clear vision. I see I in the past life, I see like people fighting for your love or people fighting for your honor. Okay. Someone may do that where they're really going to like fight for your honor or they're going to really respect you. Okay. I see someone really respecting you. This is also the card of someone tall. So you may know someone who's tall. Okay. You could be meeting someone that's really tall. Okay. You have here the lovers. This is Gemini energy and you have here union, eternal union. New love is forming. Okay. This is that true prince. Okay. That we channeled in your previous reading. This, this is energy is just energy. I mean, it's gonna, this is your energy. I feel like this Scorpio season, you're just going to see the, the truths a lot clearer on your path ahead. You're going to see it so clear. You're going to know. You're going to know. Yeah, the temple path number 12. This is your soul's purpose. Some of you may also be confused about what your soul purpose is. You're going to know the temple path. You're on your temple path. You're on your soul's journey, your purpose, okay? That's what you're on. So if you're confused, again, more with the light. Do you see the light? That's everywhere in these cards. That's crazy. Like, this is what I'm noticing. Even the lights in the house, those are your stars in the sky, they're all lighting. They're all lighting and showing you. Look at this, Virgo. Look at this. This is not the person. This is not the job. This is not it. But look at over here. Look at that. Look at this person. Look at that house. Look at this path to, to your purpose. You're gonna, you're going to show. You're going to show yourself the path. Those infinite stars in the sky that are now burst are going to start lighting the way in your reality. They're going to start lighting the way in your reality. You're going to start to see. I can't make this shit up. What are you anxious about? Are you anxious? Are some of you anxious? Look what came out. Door to romance. You can't make it up. 33. This is someone new. I'm telling you, that false prince, true prince energy is still in your space. That's crazy. Okay? That that true door that's going to open. Some of you are anxious. Every day, girl, release that anxiety. You have nothing to be anxious about. You're on the right path. It's crazy because this card hasn't come out for anyone yet. It came out for you. I mean, we still got more signs to do, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You have your woman holding a heart. Oh, we did get this before. Who got this? I think it was Aries or Pisces. Aries or Pisces. Fifth angel, fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. More about some of you. Yeah, you're going to get into a, a new, this is marriage. This is marriage. This is union. Some of you, this is literally signing a contract, okay, legally. But this is like past life energy. 
oh, this is this is this is interesting because I said there's gonna be new soul soulmates are gonna reveal themselves. Georgia romance soulmates are gonna reveal themselves. I did. Oh my God. Didn't I say I see three through three? You have your three through three. Three through three. I said that. I'm pretty sure for Virgo. I did a reading once before for you saying that you're going to create your own soulmate. You're coming into a soulmate that you don't have a contract with. You created them, they created you. You don't have a past life connection with them. I know, right? That's crazy. Because every soulmate we come into, we have a we have a contract with. No, not all of them. Nope. Sometimes we create our own soulmate, right? We co we co create destiny. Some of you do not have a contract with this person. You don't have a soul tie. You don't have a soul connection. Tying you together from a past life. You don't have attachments. Nothing. You don't have that with this person. I can feel it. You hear the thinking woman and appreciation. That's interesting. You definitely have a newfound appreciation for yourself. I'm seeing that you are, okay, some of you, this message came out before. Some of you, your purpose, your path is to speak something into its, ex is its existence, okay? You have some downloads, some channeled messages. You have something that you need to speak up. Okay, you need to speak up, okay, on your soul divine purpose. Okay, you're thinking about this. Okay, I see that you have downloads written down. I see that you have channeled messages written down. I don't care if it's on your phone, on a piece of paper, but you got it written down somewhere and you feel like you are ready to go, but you don't want to do it. Okay, fear kicks in. That message has been coming up a lot. That message has been coming up or it came up twice. You have your happy family. I'm seeing 644. If you're worried about your family, I'm seeing that they're protected. Okay, that's a message for someone that really needs to hear that. That's a Virgo. You're worried about your family. Your family is is, is protected. Okay, the, the angels hear your prayers. Okay, they're protected. All right? 64, 644 is protection against evil and bad luck. All right? Look, look up that number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, 6444. Six, six, four, four, four. Okay, look up the number six, four, four. It's protection against evil and bad luck. There is a, this is also four, four, four. Okay, that's protection, protection against the family. Um, There's a woman here that passed. I don't know if this is a grandmother, but this is a mother's wish. Okay, the grandmother has prayed for the family's protection and these protection, like the angels are protecting the family. It's the mother's wish. There's a much, there's a mother's wish here that is being fulfilled. Okay. The angels are acting on it. Okay. Someone really needs to hear that. Yeah. If you're a man holding a heart again, hello. Hello. Yeah, I see someone here thinking about their sole purpose. Okay. That appreciation says to congratulate yourself. The sun is breaking through the cloud, shining on her choice and on the tiny buds waiting to open up. Some of you are worried about a choice or you're worried about making a choice or worried about making the wrong choice, the lovers, maybe a decision in love. I'm going to read number 37. Hold on. Emotions of desire. 
Okay, this is your solar. Didn't I say solar? I did. I did. Didn't I? I said solar plexus with someone. I don't know if this was here or no, Sagittarius. I said Sagittarius, solar plexus. Okay. Um, the issues here revolve around emotions of desire and your personal energy. When the card appears, it indicates that an increased enthusiasm is present or soon to be on its way. This is a great time to move towards the completion of your desires. Your life force is vibrating with power and resonance, and your soul is calling you to direct your energy in a focused, purposeful manner. This angel of power is with you now, so go for it. Okay, this is regarding your soul's purpose. Your soul's purpose is calling you to direct your energy in a focused and purposeful manner because you have been thinking, you've been writing down downloads, you feel like you need to get something out to the universe. It's time to do it out to the collective. Okay, it's time to do it. Thank you, Rosie. Oh, I'm so sorry, Yvonne. I'm so sorry, Yvonne, for your loss. Yeah, that, that was probably from your mom. That's beautiful. Thank you for sharing that with us. That's that's beautiful. Virgo, let me get a, a shaman oracle for you, and then we'll close it. Yeah, I feel like it's, it's of course it's safe. Of course it's safe. Ooh, <laughs> luck and right timing, Virgo, fortune's wheel, the fates. Virgo always gets the fates. For as long as I've been doing readings since 2017 on YouTube, Virgo always gets the fates. And you have here protecting the future, dragon's horde number 12, 1249, 23, 5. You have here another 13 and 12. You have here 12, 12. Okay, 12, 12. Remember that, remember what I said about this person that you don't have a, you don't have a soul contract with them. This is a soulmate that you created. This is a soul soulmate that you co-created with the universe. This is a soulmate that you declared is your soulmate. So then the universe here is responding to you. As soon as you meet this person and declare this person your soulmate, guess what the universe is going to do? The universe is going to write that down. They're going to skywrite. They're going to say, okay, this is what, oh, that's what Virgo declared. Oh, okay. That's what's going to happen. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, and the skies. Look at the sky. We kept talking about the stars in the sky. Everything about this. Feels like you dictated it. From your signature. Remember, remember I said that you wrote something. Remember I said that? I said you wrote something on a star because they gave it to me visually. Okay, I know I'm not crazy. We don't write things on stars and throw them in the sky. I know, but I visualize energy. They're, they showed me you wrote something on a star and you like threw it up into the sky and you said, I'll find you later. There's a there's an interesting weird time thing here happening where it's like I don't know, but you you declared this. There's something different that you wanted to do in the past. I don't know if it's a past life thing. I don't know if this is like your past in this lifetime, but you declared something about not having a soul contract with the soulmate that you wanted to experience, a love that you wanted to have in this lifetime here. You did not want to have a true love that you had attachments to.
I'm just reading your energy. No, exactly. No baggage, no karma, because you've done that shit before in the past life. Remember, I kept feeling a past life energy, toil and labor, because you've done this before. There's something about this group of Virgos that you're just like, no, I'm coming into this lifetime. I'm learning all the lessons. Sure. I'm going to recognize the false people. Sure. But my true love, I'm not having no baggage, no karma, nothing. I did a reading. I did a reading for you where I said that you, you there's no, there's no more, uh, past life um, stories that are attached to you. We did that reading. I was still at the cottage and I did that reading for you. I said, what past life? You cleared the karmic board. That was the reading. That was the title of that reading. You cleared the karmic board. A lot of you, this false person, you're going to realize with those stars in the sky, okay? that are birthed from that one dead star, you're going to see that that false person was just, your, it was just karma. You're going to know and you're going to feel that the person that's coming in for you, no baggage, no karma whatsoever. That's what you want. That's what you declared. That's what you wrote down. That's what you wanted. Spirit right now is taking a note of it. Spirit right now is turning the wheel. Oh, this is what Virgo wants? Oh, okay. That's right. That is what Virgo said. So a lot of you right now, what you're releasing, you're going to have a lot of clarity over why exactly you're releasing them. You're going to know why. And the many things that you're going to see and understand with your open mind. Okay. Next is Capricorn. Uh -uh. Aquarius is second last. We're on Capricorn and then Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Taurus. Oh. Yeah, it, we never want to manifest during eclipse. Just sit back. Oh, when it's safe to manifest again? I just heard seven days a week. I would wait a week. Because eclipses are very unexpected. They're all in, it's, eclipses are very unexpected energies. Let, like, let them be. The best thing to do during eclipses is to let go and surrender. Let go and, sur and surrender. Because it's it's a it's a you're you're throwing you're throwing the dice. Eclipses are very very tricky energies to manifest. You you want to just sit back. You want to just sit back, surrender, let the energy be. Wait a couple days. I heard um, seven days. You can start like heavily manifesting again. But also for a lot of people, what you have been manifesting. So Shannon, I wouldn't be worried because the things that you've been manifesting. For a lot of you, it could come in a very oppor opportunistic way um, during the eclipse and just after the eclipse. Because eclipses can bring in the things that we've been manifesting in the past. Capricorn. Oh, yeah, bell. Sorry. Ears and volume. Okay, ears. Yeah, just a lot. It's a it's weird energy. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, you can pray. Of course. You can pray. Absolutely. You can pray anytime. Um, yeah, you can pray. It's really about like not interfering like with the energy. Like you never want to be forceful anyway with your manifestations, but eclipses. You want to just let them be, but prayers are beautiful. Yeah, you can pray. You can pray. Capricorn. Sorry, just need some sugar. Capricorn. If you're 919, coffin and change. Wow, a lot of things are ending for you, Capricorn. You have here the child, new beginnings. A lot of things are ending for you. If you have a, a something to do, you have here the courthouse. This is the first time the coffin has come out. I'm getting a lot of like a lot of like tower energies, abrupt changes, abrupt endings. Archangel Raphael is here. You have here at 919. I said that right. 919. Just give me a moment. If you're Archangel um, Raphael, 422, 422 is Archangel Raphael's number. I'm getting more messages through the numbers. Hold on a second. You're going to experience a lot of endings and, and like sudden new beginnings, like sudden endings, sudden new beginnings. Okay, Capricorn. Capricorn, I'm not going to lie to you, but... Um, this Scorpio season is can quite make may be quite uncomfortable for you, and that's why Archangel Raphael is here. Four two two Archangel Raphael. There's a lot of bad habits that you're clearing. Archangel Raphael is assisting you in clearing out bad habits. There's also like I don't know if it's a court case. You have here courthouse and thief again, but this thief energy is coming out different. It's almost like cheating yourself. Oh man, this is divine protection. This is a divine protection. Some of you feel like you're missing out or like you have some of Capricorn, you feel like you're missing out or like you, you should have been there. I should have dated this person. I, 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 I should have went to that party. I, I, I don't know. I should have traveled with my friends to this place. I don't know. There's something here that you feel that you feel that you missed out on. But spirit is saying, no, you didn't miss out on. We, we, we divinely protected you from it. You weren't supposed, you weren't supposed to be somewhere. You weren't supposed to be there.
this this message with the courthouse is is for someone out there like maybe like one or two people because that came up in in the reverse these aren't with the kipper deck there's no such thing as like reversals in here but something is going to go in your favor it's going to go it's going to go unfavorably to someone else I feel like spirit is literally yanking you and changing your direction. They're literally yanking you out of a space. That's what I that's what I'm seeing here. This is like divine divine redire divine direction. What is that? Divine redirection, divine detours. They they changed the spirit changed a path here for you to protect you. You felt like you missed out. You don't understand why you had this sudden change or why you didn't experience something that you really wanted to experience. So this Scorpio season, you're going, you're going to feel a lot of like FOMO, fear of missing out. You're going to feel like I should have been there. I should have done that. I should have dated this person. No, absolutely, absolutely fucking not. You dodged a you dodged a bullet. You dodged a bullet. Spirit's saving you here. You you seriously feel like you missed out. You have Archangel Raphael here really close to you. 422. I, I honestly don't feel anything with courtship or this. Um, official person. This is 422. You can look it up on Google. This 422 is Archangel Raphael's number. You're not going to understand why this is happening, but it's happening for your highest good. They're saving you from something really big this Scorpio season. They're saving you from something really big. I'm going to go to the animals here for you. See what's going on. For Capricorn, thank you, Spirit of the Most High. Yeah, you're being, you're being protected. See, something didn't... It didn't come together. You... You... We're trying so hard for something to come together or something to manifest and it didn't because it's not, it, it was to protect you. Oh my God, I'm getting this energy. I'm getting this energy with you Capricorn that if you were to manifest or get the very thing that you've been trying to manifest or like to move in that direction because you wanted it so bad, you wouldn't have liked it. You would have received something that you regretted. You Because sometimes we manifest something and then we're just like, oh, fuck. Like, I don't want that anymore. Some of you have been praying for direction. Some of you have, praying, have been praying to the angels. The angels are answering your prayers. Some of you have been praying for assistance. It's here. Some of you have, have been praying for help and for aid. It's here. Some of you have been praying for a gift. It's here. One second. One second. You hear the wealthy man. One sec. I'm getting 113. I'm getting a bunch of dates. Yep. Yep. Okay, hold on. Because I'm getting more numbers than anything else. Something happened to you in 2017. I'm, fee I'm, I'm getting also January 13th. I'm getting 112, 212. Okay. Some of you are transforming. Some of you are maturing. Okay. 
whatever this is for you, it's it's going to mature you. It's going to make you like you're going to be a lot smarter about how you do things and how you create and how you manifest. Something happened in 2017. Let me read you the gift card. This is help. This is help. I just said that. This card means gifts, aid, help, support, resources, rescue, and joy. That's all I need to read. It's here. That's what it says. This card means gifts, aid, help, support, resources, rescues, and joys. Thank you. I feel like with this group of Capricorn, you manifested something. You got it. You hated it. You went into like depression. You made a wrong choice. You went down the wrong path. You repeated a karmic cycle. You, you repeated a karmic cycle in 2017 you repeated a cycle and you've been asking for help that's why the gift is here you've been asking for help the angels have heard you you're not going to repeat a cycle anymore you almost did. Look at this. Look at this. This is 2024. What are we in October? Three months until 2024. This is 2023. I'm telling you, I keep, I, there's more in messages with the numbers than there are with the actual cards. I'm getting a lot of downloads. You almost repeated a cycle going into 2024. I know we're not there yet. But there's some kind of decision. There's something that you want. There's something that you tried to manifest and it didn't come. Okay? It didn't come. It didn't come. It didn't come in 2023. You tried to manifest something this year. It didn't happen. Because if it came, you would have repeated a cycle in 2024. You would have repeated a karmic cycle in 2024. So spirit is, is rescuing you. Okay. That didn't happen for your highest good. You're going to understand this change. You're going to understand why that manifestation didn't come into fruition. Spirit is saying, let go, let go of, of something that you keep thinking that you're going to, that you're going to get. Okay. I see that you're going to start to manifest smarter. You're going to manifest smarter. You're going to know exactly. You're going to feel aligned to the things that you want. Okay. Spirit is bringing you to a new beginning. I feel like between now and 2024, for this, for this group that's really resonating with this Capricorn, I have to tell you, don't manifest at all. I know you're probably probably like, what the fuck is she saying? Okay, this is about sitting back, letting the angels redirect you. Okay, because you're there's a lot of changes right now. There's a lot of things that are ending. Okay, in 2024, you're gonna see the new beginnings. You're gonna feel the new energies. As you as soon as you step into those new energies, you are going to have a clearer vision of what it is that you want. You're gonna feel that shift internally. And I saw someone say that 2024 is an eight year, which is all about personal power. You're gonna feel empowered to manifest clearly. Okay, because I'm feeling like maturity from you. I'm, I'm going to trigger a lot of people. What? Don't manifest, but it's the new year. If you resonate with this, don't manifest. If you don't resonate with this, go ahead and manifest. Okay? I'm not the architect of your life. I don't know your life. You're the person that knows your life. I'm going to pull an animal oracle for you. Something here that you wanted didn't come 
into fruition. It didn't come into fruition for a reason. You have here owl, sexual energy, darkness, and liberation. Look how gorgeous that owl is. The owl is a nocturnal bird strongly associated with the moon and feminine energy. Lilith, a goddess of the Talmud and early Christian Nauticism, is, frequ is frequently represented as an owl. She was Adam's first wife before Eve and is known for having refused to assume a subordinate role in marriage. Although she has traditionally been associated with dark sexual energy, she is a powerful and liberating feminine energy. This is about liberation, to liberate you, to free you from a pattern that you have been so comfortable in and repeated. So this Scorpio season is really going to transform you, to empower you so that you do not step into energies that limit you, where you play a subordinate role. Get one more. Power, creation, illumination, and exploration here with eagle. Almost every culture that has had contact with eagles has imbued them with power and influence. Native American tribes worship the bird as a great spirit, the creator of all things. Eagle legends frequently involve journeys into dangerous or unknown territory. A Northwest Native American myth tells of the eagle setting out with the coyote to the land of the dead to retrieve the spirits of the deceased. Eagle fathers have thus been used as talismans by shamanic healers venturing into the netherworld, and they are given as rewards for individual feats of courage or bravery. We just talked about personal empowerment. I'm telling you, you're going to come out feeling powerful, power, illuminated, You're going to know exactly why this didn't manifest for you. Yeah, that's a gorgeous card. You have here first breath, beginner's mind, number 21. You have here gathering around the power of community, okay? This is Archangel Raphael. This is the angels gathering around you. This is the angels gathering around you, okay? They're saying, be in beginner's mind, okay? They're saying, be in beginner's mind, okay? Then you can step into... I feel like you're going to get a spark of manifestation power. You're going to get a spark of manifestation abilities. You're going to get a spark of intuitive gifts, learning how to manifest exactly what you need and what you desire and what you want. Okay, you're going to be clear. There's a lot of old energies and old gunk that is being released right now. I feel like a lot of you, you're trying so hard to manifest in alignment to your highest good when there's still energies that are that are still there. So it's like you you want that, you're manifesting that, but that's still here, okay? And spirit's saying you're manifesting and you're focused there, but that energy still hasn't exactly released itself. So you're going to manifest that instead of that. Does that make sense? Like, yeah, Brandon Jones, if this isn't for you, this isn't for you. Go ahead, manifest, manifest your dreams. This isn't for you then. Yes, this is about forgiveness. Okay, forgive yourself for the choices that you have made. Let it go. Okay, let your past choices go. Let them go. The, the veil is repairing. See, I'm telling you, it's like the veil isn't ready yet for you, Capricorn, right now. In this Scorpio season, the rest of this year, it's just about being like, being clear. Sorry, I got distracted.
the veil, it's repairing. How can you manifest with a broken veil? How can you manifest with a broken veil? How can you manifest without forgiveness? I'm telling you, just, just, just hold on, hold on for the rest of the year. Okay. This is this, that you're, you're going to come out in 2024. You're going to know exactly. Okay. One that month, that January, I'm, I'm telling you, like, you're going to be so clear the lay of the land is going to be laid out for you. You're going to say, wow, look, it's so empty because the, the veil has been repaired. Look at where I am. Look at the space. It's all empty. It's all cleared for me. The past is gone. I've forgiven myself. I forgive other people. I forgive my past. I forgive the person that I used to be. And then look, the land just completely is wide. It's empty. But what is empty it's not empty. It's filled with possibilities. Then you can manifest. Look at the solar force and the sun behind you. That's life force energy. That's what the eagle was talking about. Courage and bravery. Let me tell you something. The angels know your desires. God knows your desires. The universe knows your desires. Okay, whoever, however you want to say it. I feel like your desires may not be that clear to you right now. There's still some forgiveness and healing that needs to be done. Some of you have accidentally manifested old shit and old karmic patterns they're saying just hold on you're gonna come out of this feeling so empowered feeling so clear feeling so renewed feeling so repaired oh and then you're gonna hit the ground running angel of strength as we were talking about courage and bravery spirit just wanted to confirm that number 50 Okay. Cornucopia. There you go. There's your cornucopia. This is number 11. Okay. You also have here the main male. Okay. With the wealthy man. All right. And the privileged, privileged lady. I feel like this is just really mature energy that you have evolved into. Okay. Throughout this entire process. That, that main male is one. So you have here one, one, one. Your cornucopia. You have your financial constraints, number 13. Okay. Some of you are trying to manifest money. Some of you are trying to manifest money. Okay. Remember, spirit here is gifting you, rescuing you, aiding you, helping you. Okay, we channeled that. They came, they came out with that card. Some of you might be feeling financial constraints. Some of you might be manifesting money. Okay, I'm seeing in 2024. Okay, I'm seeing cornucopia. So there's there's this energy of abundance here for you. I see you, I see, I see that as a desire. Okay, I see that as a manifestation of yours. All right. You won't be in this energy for long, okay? Sit still, just, just hold on. Okay, it will get better. Okay, that's for someone out there. You have here caring connections. Yeah, a woman holding a coin. Woman holding a coin. Okay, but caring connections. So I am seeing new love here. Let me just get... Or um, a connection that you are having is going to strengthen, okay? If this isn't new love and you're, yeah, here with wedding, this situation involves marriage. I'm seeing like a power couple here. You have your wealthy man and woman holding a coin. I see a power couple. 
I see that this is also a manifestation of yours. This is a desire to be a, to be a power couple. Okay, to be a power couple. I see a connection with you and a person is going to get stronger. And it ain't your ex. If you release your ex. Okay. Trust. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It ain't, it ain't your ex. It's not them. Okay. The time has come to clear your energy. Spirit is saying, and I did talk about that. You're trying to manifest that when your energy isn't cleared yet. You can't manifest that if your energy isn't clear. You're just going to manifest the energy that's not cleared. Okay, if you're manifesting a new person and you haven't re released your ex, you're not going to come into alignment with the new person. Spirit here is saying to this group of Capricorns, okay, clear your energy, okay, through the energy of forgiveness. Okay, forgive yourself, forgive people that have done you wrong. Okay, that's the energy of Scorpio season. That's what's transforming for you. Forgive. Forgiveness is a powerful transformation tool transformation transformational energy spirit is redirecting you here all you have to do is forgive forgive your ex forgive your past forgive your past self forgive yourself and trust trust that the universe is taking you in the direction for your highest good this is what spirit is saying don't do anything right now capricorn just trust we got you that didn't manifest because it wasn't for you you dodged a bullet capricorn it's okay it's okay okay you're changing or moving you things are going to end it's going to be uncomfortable but there's a new beginning here child new beginnings January 2024 trust so but like this isn't just Scorpio season for you Capricorn I feel like this is the rest of the year it's going to be a lot of energies that are going to be cleared a lot of forgiveness is going to take place okay, and I'm seeing new love come in for you I'm seeing new love next year for those of you that are looking to strengthen their current connection, I am seeing that happen too. Trust. Okay, if you're looking to strengthen your current connection, I'm seeing you just 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 trust. Trust it. Okay? Your connection might be going through some changes right now. Trust the changes in your connection that are occurring for you. All right? Okay. We're moving on. I love you Capricorn. I hope that um I, that wasn't so harsh. Yeah, we didn't come here to play today. I mean, we're in Scorpio energy. There, there's there's nothing of, of playing around. Yes. Oh, my God. I'm keeping you guys here so long. Mm -hmm. All right, Libra. Thanks so much. Thanks so much, Eve. If you want to, like, you know, go, that's okay. Like, I can take up, um, I can take up the duties of doing the timestamps. Ears. Sorry, ears. Oh, yeah. I felt that energy on my crown. That felt nice. I'm so sorry for your loss. Good night, B. Libra. Didn't I just do your reading? Right? Didn't I just do your reading? What's transforming for you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. I just did your reading. Your timeline of desires. Okay, what's transforming for a Libra? this Scorpio season. What's transforming for you? I mean, I mean, I know you're not people pleasing anymore. I know you're not. <laughs> hey, uncensored goddess, didn't you go? <laughs> you're back. I love it. 
I know you're not people pleasing. We talked about that in your reading. You're not people pleasing. What? Excuse me. Yeah, you're me pleasing. That's right. Oh, interesting. What the? What the? Oh, yeah. You're leaving behind. Damn. Damn. You left someone out in the cold. Poverty and the lovers. Okay. But I, okay, because I was, I was splitting the deck and these two didn't come with the deck. Like I was trying to split it. They didn't come. They were, they stayed down on the table. And I'm like, what? You left immediately. I was like, oh, you left something behind this Scorpio se season. You're leaving someone behind. You're leaving them out in the cold. I'm seeing five, five of pentacles. And I'm seeing the lovers here with poverty and the lovers. And we did channel that for you in your reading. We channeled that, that you don't see someone the same anymore. Oh, wow. You dress this person in designer energy. You know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing you dress this person in designer energy, and they've been stripped from the designer energy that you have cloaked them in, and you see how poor they are in poverty energy, this is lack consciousness. This person doesn't have like sustenance. This person doesn't have a lot of like the soul that you were looking for or like the spirit that you were looking for. You you like imagined it or you, 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 you gave them this power. You gave them that gold. Oh my God. Sheesh, Libra. If you're the gift, I feel like you're receiving something. You're receiving something here. The gift of sight. I just heard the gift of sight. You're receiving the gift of sight. You sure the hell did, Bianca. Hell yes. Yes. Give your sudden wealth. The child again at the bottom. The child that comes up a lot because this is about new beginnings. Scorpio season is about a lot of like sudden endings and sudden new beginnings. You have your sudden wealth. You're being gifted. You're being gifted with sudden wealth, but also a sudden change. You're also being gifted with a sudden new beginning. You're being gifted with a sudden new beginning. Yeah, you're, you know what? You know what? I don't really, I don't, yeah. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Yep. Yep. But it's not just people. You're not just figuring it out, people. You're figuring out energies in your life that you like, that you dressed up. But I'm seeing like disillusions. I'm seeing like disillusions fall. I'm seeing illusions fall. And you're realizing the lack of that energy. It's almost like you had an energy come into your life, like be presented to you as something like you made it more so than it actually is. You made an energy more so than it actually is. You dressed it up. You thought that you could draw power and energy and manifestation and gifts and power from this energy. And you, you, something is here for you, the Scorpio season, giving you that gift of sight. And it's eliminating. It's literally like, like, I don't know, like purifying, removing, releasing, just scorching the illusions, removing the illusions so that you can see that that energy actually ain't it. That ain't it. This energy you can pull power from. Are you kidding? Look how dark and gray this is. This is the energy that you can pull from. This ain't it. You're realizing that. You were like drawing power, 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 power from an energy that wasn't actually given to you.
possibility for Union Skybridge. Came up in the reverse, though. I'm telling you, this was in your reading. This was in your reading. You thought you were aligned to someone else, and then you found out, no, actually, we're not aligned. There's no possibility for this union here. But I'm also seeing here, it's not just it's not just love. It's not just the person. It's just energies in your life. I don't know. It's things in general. I don't, I don't know. Like, take it as it resonates. Is your gestation period 63? <laughs> yep. 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 Okay, so you have here the magician's sword, confidence in your magic. You have here the unmarked trail revelation, number 57. You have here the farther gate, both step forward, 55, and overwhelm and plenty, number 43. You're coming into plenty energy that give and give and give. You're not going to feel drained, okay? You're not going to feel like you're pulling power from nothing. It's like you're drawing water from a stone. What water from a stone? You're not going to get nothing from a stone. It's stone. Look at the lovers. They're stone figures. Mm -mm. Look at this overflow. You're making, you're, something, is, something is really going to like empower you this Scorpio season to really like stand in your power and stand in your ground with the magician sword, confidence in your magic. You're going to feel really bold to take a step forward, to move in a certain direction, to cut someone off, to cut energies off. You're going to have some kind of revelation, revelation. Again, this energy to me right now is something in the funnel. There's something in the birth canal that's going to come out. When it comes out, it's a gift. It's a gift from the divine. It's a gift, okay? You're going to be receiving something here. You're receiving plenty. You're receiving plenty of energies that you can draw from. Because I feel like, uh, Libra, however you're resonating this, whatever you were drawing power from, nothing came out of it. You were just drawing from your own power, you just felt drained. You're going to come into like resourceful energies, energies that overflow, energies that are powerful, energies that like enhance, okay? They enhance other energies, um, energies that give. I don't know. It's just like an energy that just is filled with life, life. Blossoming abundance. Mm, I know that's right, Libra. Sudden wealth. Blossoming abundance. Wow. Something is going to grow. Okay. You may be in an energy where you're seeing a little bit of abundance. It's going to get bigger. Okay. Blossoming. It's going to blossom. If you started something new, it's going to blossom. Look at you. Overflow. Plenty. Blossom. Are you kidding me? Get that energy, Libra. This, this card keeps coming out. The temple path. This is your mission. This is your purpose. This is this is divinity right here. The temple path. You're aligned. This is the energy that keeps on giving. Divinity keeps on giving. You have your broken heart. You're going to break someone's heart. Oh, well. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be petty. Um, I'm not trying to be petty. Let me reel that back in. I'm not trying to be petty. I told you I have no patience today. Mags Soto. If you read the title appropriately, it says, what is transforming for you this Scorpio season? Scorpio season alludes to Scorpio season and all the people that are experiencing Scorpio season. So if you don't understand, don't come at me and honey me. 
This is not the day. Thanks. You're also not blocked. I told you guys, today's not the day. <laughs> today's not the day. Let me just ring the bell on that energy. I hate when people call me honey in the, the most condescending way. You want to call me honey out of the goodness of your own heart, please do. Like, I call people honey, but don't call me honey when you're trying to school me on something or trying to, like, tear me down on something. You want to call me honey? No. 37, 37. Okay, you have matching numbers here. See, you're getting some kind of clarity on an, on an energy that doesn't give, an energy that doesn't give to you. Okay, you're getting clarity on it. You're feeling confident. You're stepping into your power. You also have here 9-9. Nine, nine. Okay, 63, which is nine. You have your broken heart, which is nine, nine, nine. I'm seeing an, there's something here that you're recognizing, that you're ending, that you're putting a close. Okay, you're closing it. Yeah, you're some, You're noticing it. Number 52, your intuition, goddess of the moon. Oh, yeah. You're really seeing something. You're really seeing something. This is a thinking woman, but it's almost as if something has grabbed her attention or him. Okay, not female or male, gender specific. This is the thinking woman. It almost seems as if someone said, hey, and she turns around. Something grabs your attention here. Mmm. Oh, didn't I say that? I said reconciliation in your previous reading. I talked about reconciliation, right? And I said, this person is going to try to come back. You may have wanted them before, but now you see them for what they really are, right? This person, again, like I feel like someone is calling towards you. You're going to realize that that person ain't it. That person ain't it. They may try to like communicate with you. Yeah, look, walking away at the bottom of the deck. This is again 27, which is nine, 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 nine. This is ending for you. Okay, this is ending for you. All right. This is your energy, Libra. Yeah, adjacent possibilities again, number 24, cornucopia, right? We talked about blossoming abundance here. You know that there's something, there, there's more possibilities out there for you. There's more possibilities out there for you than this. And the possibilities that are waiting for you are plenty. It's a plentiful of energy. Plenty. Okay, let me get some Romance Angel Oracle cards for you. Yeah, Libra. <sighs> yeah, you know what? I woke up today and I was just like, yeah, today's not the day. <sighs> Don't mess with me. Yeah, they don't want you until you want them. Oh, I hate energies like that. You deserve love. Libras, you know you're lovable. No one's got to tell you that. You know you're lovable. You know you're lovable. Hi, New World Communication. Yeah, yeah, release, look at this, release your ex separation. Oh my God. Look, romantic feelings try to, try to peep out. They may try to holler at you, say like, you know what, you know, I actually have some romance, I have feelings. I have feelings for you. And you're just like, what are you doing? I'm over here thinking, I'm over here walking away. I'm telling you, they're trying to they're trying to grab your attention. If they're not trying to grab your attention texting wise, they're trying to grab your attention energetically. And trust me, you can feel it energetically. No thanks. Oh yeah, you're moving. This fell on the possibilities, adjacent possibilities, passion. You're gonna get something new. You're being aligned to something more passionate. Something that gives. Look at this person embrace the other person. Look at them embracing each other. I, I'm, uh, okay. See these people, these tone figures, okay? The energy that I'm getting here in your space is like cold. 
stone, right? You can't, you can't get water from a stone, right? This person might have been like, even this heart looks, oh my God, look at this water. Look at this drop of water right here in the heart. Look at this dew drop. Oh, there's a little drop. And I keep, I kept saying, I kept saying, you can't get water from a stone, but there's, there's a little bit of water from them. So they are showing some emotion. <laughs> You're probably like, where was that emotion during our connection though? Where was that passion during our connection though? I'm feeling like there was like a moments where you guys were intimate that it didn't feel like they were pleasing you. It didn't feel like they were trying to please you. It felt like they just wanted to please themselves. It may have felt like the passion was missing. Here, you're going to connect with someone that real passion. Oomph, right? That, that sexy love, right? This is an energy that gives, oh, yeah, what? Libra, worth waiting for? Yes, this is your soulmate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I receive, right? Worth spirit is saying worth worth waiting for. Yes, this is your soulmate. Am I getting too petty now? Am I getting too sassy? I can I can reel it back in. Sometimes I I, I just you know. <sighs> I'm gonna just grab some water, guys. So just give me a moment. We're going to do Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus is next, okay? So uh, Gemini, you're next. Let me just pack up these cards. Okay, thank you. I do love my sass. I do. It's part of who I am. Not a lot of people get to see it. Like, only my close friends do. And, like, obviously now you guys because I'm trying to be, you know, this is authentically who I am. This is authentically who I am, but I have been in relationships in the past that um, have really tried to like dim my light or they didn't like my sass or I don't know, just not very accepting of who I am, but we're not doing that anymore, right? Okay. I'm just going to grab water. Just like, give me a moment. Sorry, one second.
I don't know if you guys heard me peeing. Because <laughs> uh, my bathroom's like right there by my office. I closed the door, but like, I don't know if you could still hear me peeing through the door. Um, yeah, there's no TMI here, by the way. TMI what? I read your energy. There's no such thing as too much information anymore. We're close. All of you guys and me, we're close. Ooh, that's nice, Gemini. Gemini, I haven't done your channel um, messages yet, so I don't know what's going on really for you. Oh, you did hear me? Are you kidding? Aw, that's okay, whatever. Now thousands of people are going to hear me <laughs> peeing. <laughs> One more bell for that. <laughs> oh, you heard me wash my hands, yeah. Imagine you didn't hear me wash my hands. That would have been awkward. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> What am I doing? Yeah, Gemini. All right, Gemini. Hey, Rob. Hey, Rob. <laughs> Rob. Why aren't you a moderator? Mm -mm -mm. I thought you were a moderator of mine. All right, Gemini. <laughs> Oh, you would come in when I start talking about me going to the bathroom. I've been on here for for four hours. I had to go pee. <laughs> I mean, I could have muted my computer. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, so we just finished Libra. We're on Gemini, Aquarius, and Taurus. Okay. Yeah, he has a sixth bathroom sense. What a weirdo. <laughs> okay, Gemini. What is transforming for you this Scorpio season? The Rob is a the Rob is a Scorpio. What's transforming for you this Scorpio season? Gemini. You have your pathway, marriage. I don't like these anymore. I'm getting the same cards. Oh, here's different. I'm not going to use these for you. Sorry. You got the message. You may receive some kind of communication. I have to, like, actually sage these cards. Give me a moment. Let me go to, um, let me do something different for Gemini. Let me go to the tea leaf oracles for Gemini. I don't want to use the Kipper deck anymore. I did see the message cards. That was the different, that was the only different card, the message. I'm seeing like the way, the thing that's transforming for you this Scorpio season is communication. Like the way you communicate to others, the way people communicate to you. I'm seeing communication is really transforming how you communicate to other people, how you communicate your needs to other people. Didn't this come up for Cancer or Aries? But there's something about a message. There's something about a message. Look at this bell. Announcement. Feelings or relationship with a woman. You have here the bell announcement. Yeah, don't keep it in. 
don't keep it in, Gemini. There's something that you may be keeping in. I don't, I don't feel like it's a secret. Hidden secrets may harm you. I don't feel like it's like a hidden secret. I feel like you, you, you hide a lot of what you actually want. You hide a lot of what you actually want. This Scorpio season is going to bring forward the things that you really need, the things that you really want, the things that you really want to start doing, the projects that you really want to start. This Scorpio season is going to bring in some hard work for you. There's hard work ahead. It's not going to be an easy road. There are going to be some obstacles to overcome, and it's around, it's around communication. That's why you have here the bell. You have your waiting for news package or letter. You have here the apple temptation will test you. You have here the tiger doing something risky or taking a chance. I see that you're, I see there's something here different that you've been thinking of doing, but you have been delaying doing it. You're about to do it. I see you doing it. You are on the road to success. Period of prosperity and abundance at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I'm just getting like this energy with you, Gemini. Like, don't hold it in. Don't hold it in. There's something here that you want to let the tiger out. Doing something risky, taking a chance. Don't hold it in. Don't hold it in. There's going to be some kind of announcement as well during Scorpio season. You're going to get some kind of news. You're going to get some kind of news. I feel like I want to move to different decks for you, but hold on. Let me see what we get from here. Yeah, okay, here we go. You're in, yeah, yeah. You're in the in-between of something. You're in transition. Yeah, it's time to close something out. Scorpio season is going to close out something here for you so that you can transition because you're in the in-between. You're in between something. You're not stepping into something. You're not doing something that you really want to do. You're not telling someone how you really feel. You're not opening your voice loud enough so that the whole world can hear you or the person that you really want to say something to. You have a lot of feminine energy around you. Um Yeah, this Scorpio season is is really going to 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 bring something to your attention. It's it's like you're gonna face something. It's like I can't. It's like you're gonna get this energy of like I can't hold it in anymore because the Scorpio season is going to almost like challenge you to have this energy come to the surface because something inside of you wants to come to the surface here. See, you're straddling between realms. You're in between energies right now. You're in between energies right now. You're in between. You're just like, I'll just stay here in between. I'll stay here and go back and forth. I'll stay in the in between. But spirit here, like your soul here is looking at you like, come out and say it. Come out and do it. It's going to bring you out. It's going to bring you out. You're going to shine. A part of you is going to shine. You're going to bring something forward. You're going to be really glad that you did. It's going to lead you on a new path. Some of you may announce something to your friends. You may announce something to your job. You may announce something. You may just like, you're going to do something that you haven't done before. It's going to completely like close out and, and, and like remove the fears. I see like you're closing the doors on fears. Like you think that you think this thing that you're doing or that you're hiding or like you're so scared of, of doing or saying is so scary. But as soon as you step into it, you're just going to be like, wow, that actually wasn't scary at all. That wasn't scary at all. Your heart is going to like ignite with so much fire and passion and inspiration. This is radical acceptance. You're no longer going to feel lost or in the in-between. OK, you're going to feel really seen. You're going to feel seen by someone or by people in your life. Maybe you have been feeling like you haven't been seen. You haven't been seen because you haven't been speaking. 
You haven't been seen because you haven't really been showing who you really are to the people around you that or, that almost have been like waiting to see you, waiting to see your potential just like shine. The universe sees you. The universe is your partner. The universe is like giving you a boost or like, you know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing like the universe like, like boost someone up. Like, can you just get up there? Can you just, can you just go? Look at this. Look at the universe. Look at the universe push you up. Can you just get out? Can you get out of the in-between? Can you get out of the veil? Like, can you just go and enjoy? Oh my. <laughs> can you go enjoy your life and stop asking us questions? I don't know. I feel like you ask spirit a lot of questions. <laughs> can you just? Stop asking us repetitive questions. Can you stop asking us for direction? <laughs> stop. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. I see like you really want to do something. Spirit is saying, just do it. You're going to, you're going to love it. You're going to be so glad that you did. All the fear that you had is going to completely vanish and it's going to close out. More than anything else, you're going to come into your power. You have your right use of power. You're going to feel, uh, you're going to feel like the Garden of Venus. You're going to feel so bloomed. You're going to feel so like amazing and like renewed. You're going to be like, wow, like I really did that. And Spirit's just looking at you like we've been telling you. Like you're going to feel so much better doing this. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't know what though. I don't know. What have you been wanting to do that you haven't been doing? What have you been wanting to say that you haven't been saying? Some of you, this is just your authentic self. Have you been showing you, your real self to the people around you? Because I'm noticing a lot of like, there's, there's some feminine energies around you. I see like good friends around you. You know, this card temptation will test you. This is fear. Fear will test you. When you get closer to something, this came out. I forget for who. Who did this come out for? This came out for, I don't know. Oh, no, it was a collective reading. When you get closer to something, when you get closer to your goals, your dreams, fear kicks in. Some of you might be feeling that you're getting really close to a goal of yours. You're on the road to success here. You're on the road to success. If you have been wanting to start a project, do it. If you have been wanting to express your emotions to your, I don't know, to your friend, are you are you afraid of being, are you afraid of rejection? Just do it. So what if you get rejected? So what? If you get rejected, that's okay. You know what? You took a chance. No one can fault you for taking a chance. The message here for you is like, don't hold it in and don't hold back and don't hold yourself back, Gemini. Don't hold yourself back. All right. Caring connections keeps coming out. Oh, angel of love. Yeah, because a lot of people are coming into these caring connections in Scorpio season. A lot of people are going to start to see their true emotions towards people of how they really feel, whether they don't feel anything at all or whether they feel everything towards somebody. And that happens in both ways. That happens both ways. A lot of connections are going to be known. Look at you, indecisive. I'm telling you, indecision. This is you, Gemini. What did I talk about? You're in the in-between. You've been you've been in indecision for quite some time. Let me read you this card. You've been in the in-between for a while. You've been hiding between veils for a little bit. <laughs> Let me read you this card. Where's the book here? Indecision. Let me read it to you. I can feel it. Hmm. Which choice to make? Question mark. This card marks the presence of two or 
or more possible choices in your life. It shows you're anxiously looking at two roads, wondering which would be the better choice. You are standing still, feeling confused by the up and down emotions of your present indecision. You could spend days, you could spend months, or even years in this back and forth energy. All the while feeling your focus and your life force energy drain away. Don't keep it in. This indecision creates a paralysis of will, one that can keep you stuck while you're waiting to be certain about the results of your choice. It's time to let go of the analysis and self-doubt that have been keeping you stuck. Meditate on your options and see where your spirit guides you. Consider which direction resonates with you the most, both in the process and in the goal. Follow your heart and make the honoring choice. Let me get one more. You have here the second chakra, which is Archangel Ariel, which we talked about is that sexual energy. And that started off with Cancer or Aries. So you could have Cancer or Aries in your chart. I believe it was Aries. I'm not sure. Maybe it was Cancer. I don't know. But the longer you stay in indecision, the more you actually block your sacral chakra, the more you block your truth. Thank you, Matthew. The more you block your truth, your sacral chakra, the more you stay in this indecision, the more that you don't open up your truth, express your truth, announce who you are to the world, come out, tell this person how you feel. Quit that job that you are not happy in, but you're pretending you're happy. Do something risky. Take a chance. I'm not telling you to quit a job. Okay. I'm not doing that. Don't come at me later saying I shouldn't have quit my job. I'm not telling you quit your job. I'm just saying some of you are thinking of doing something, but you fear so much about doing it. You fear so much doing it. The longer you stay in indecision, the more detached you get with your emotions. And the more you create stagnancy, you're not in flow. You're not in flow. Yeah, go away, Rob. <laughs> go watch Scorpio. I don't see your sacral chakra blocked, but I see that it's like open and like it, it like it opens and it shuts. It opens and it shuts. It opens and it shuts. That's you. You open up to others and then you shut down. You open up to others and then you shut down. You open That's also how you are with lovers. You open up to lovers and then you shut down. You yeah, it flickers. Spirit wants you to ignite. Spirit wants you to just get get up there. Just go. Stop being so afraid. You're going to close out a really beautiful, like, ending here. You're going to close out a cycle. A cycle of, of like, you're no longer going to feel afraid. You're going to move into a new cycle feeling powerful fearless with radical acceptance I'm telling you when you radically accept who you are everything changes everything changes i'm gonna go to the animal spirit or oracle deck for you um, i don't know if i want to go to this deck for you hold on we'll see what the animals say and what direction we want to go don't be afraid 
open up. Tell that cute neighbor of yours, I find you cute. And if he thinks you're crazy, if he thinks, why is she telling me this? Who cares? Spirit wants you to do something that you've never done before. Just to like spark, spark this like energy inside of you. It's like this playful energy that wants to come out and play, but you've been playing with, you've been playing with spirit and you've been playing in the realms in between by yourself. Spirit's like, go play with others. Go play with others. Can you? Spirit wants you to connect. Okay. Spirit wants you to make caring connections. Okay. This is really going to like ignite your soul on fire. Like Ace of Wands. It's really going to really trigger like inspiration. It's going to trigger movement. All right. Mm. What is this? Oh, you got the swan. Oh, that's beautiful. You have here transformation, loss of innocence and beauty. This painting of a swan maiden represents a common motif found in the mythologies and folktales of many cultures around the globe. From Native American to Slavic, although the story varies from place to place, the basic plot is the same. A young man finds the feathered robe or skin of a swan maiden, a goddess-like creature, which she has temporarily shed to assume a human form. Although the youth attempts to hide the feathers from the maiden, which would allow him to possess her, the swan finds its feathers, assumes its animal's form, and leaves the youth. The lost swan thus symbolizes the departure of youthfulness, youthful innocence, and the passage to maturity. In some versions of the story, the swan dies. In Greek mythology, the swan song is a beautiful song sung by the swan just before death. What did I say? Spirit wants you to go play with others. It's like the training wheels are off. Go play. You can, you can, you can ride the bike. That youthful innocence is like, falling off and your maturity you're about to soar and it's through connections that you find yourself like you're going to be connecting with others if you've been feeling like you can't connect with others or you haven't been connecting with others or like you've been burned by other people in the past like it's been it's it's made you feel like a recluse like you don't want to connect you don't want to but spirit is saying like connect because I feel like for some of you, Gemini, you lost a part of yourself because of the connections that you have been in that didn't go the way you thought that they would go. So you just kind of tucked yourself away. They're saying, get out. You've been in here long enough with us, you know, just... <laughs> Go. Aquarius. You know, nothing ever really dies, right? It just transforms, right? And you had here, Gemini, the closing door and the vanishing mirror. Okay, I feel like a, a cycle of yours is just ending. Okay, you're moving. I feel like you're you're really stepping into maturity. Okay, you're really stepping into maturity is what I see. And you're going to mature play with other people that are mature. Okay. Aquarius. Aquarius. I just did your reading, right? I did. Let me see what I channeled for you then. Not that it matters, but I did I channel for Aquarius? Oh, actually, did I channel? Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, you're accepting the destined path. Takes you over the top. Divine judgment and karma. I remember that reading. Okay. 
Um, ring the bell. Okay, ears, and turn the volume down if it's too loud. I'm going to go to the tarot for you. We haven't done that yet. Okay, hold on. Let me get this, this. We're not going to use the kipper anymore. Too many repetitive cards are coming out. I felt it during Capricorn, and that's why, like, the numbers started to download more for me than the actual card. So definitely have to switch out of the kipper. I have to clean them with, like, sage. Someone said, I think it was you, Joanna, you said you wanted to gift me um, sage because you, you grow them organically. I would love that. I would honestly, I would be so thrilled because I'm, not, I'm trying not to use sage. That's why I got my bell because it's like unethic, unethically sourced. Um, you can email me at therarygazelle.com at gmail.com. And we can make arrangements. That would be that would be incredible. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're ready. Aquarius. Aquarius, the gang who's going over the top, not through. I just heard exceeding expectations. Exceeding expectations. Someone is also exceeding your expectations. Mm. If your emotional challenges resolve the issue, number 13. Shield your energy. Look beneath the surface, number 13, uh, 32, excuse me, 32, which is five. Man, look at this expansion card. Holy, what are you doing? Educate your mind and senses. Expansion. Oh. You have secret temptation, being led astray. And then you have your energy signature. The past is in the present. Virgo got that, that one. Okay, hold on a minute. Let these download in for a moment. Aquarius. You're not being led astray anymore. You're not being led astray anymore. There's something here in your past. Give me a moment. There's something here in the past that has led you astray. Some kind of temptation. Actually, Gemini had temptation. Temptation will test you. I don't feel like you're I don't feel like temptation will test you. I feel like you have been led astray in the past. I feel like this temptation is being melted away. Something is being like it's being like melted away yeah it's like the gold is melting this this came through for libra where you are like you dressed an energy you dress someone something in designer energy in like golden energy but it wasn't actually golden it was temptation this is coming through for you in that energy as well you have your crown games more of this gold energy right use of power Give me a moment. The disowned self. Wow. With spiritual narcolepsy. What? Yeah. The temptations are falling. Look at this. 
because I'm, I'm seeing like something melt away. They gave us the fallen angel, fallen angel, spiritual narcolepsy. I'm seeing like literally things are just falling. I keep seeing that like this energy is melting. The angel is falling, spiritual narcolepsy. You're letting like temptation sleep. You're letting temptations rest. You're letting like, and when I say temptations, I mean like energies that would test you, that would lead you astray, that would cause obstacles, the, it, energies that would lay in trauma, energies that would reside in, in like codependency, energies that, that didn't really receive much nourishment. Okay, it's like that's like the the temptation. The it's kind of like that Sagittarius energy, like that self-sabotaging frequency, right? That self-sabotage that sometimes we feel so tempted to go towards because we're so used to it. Some of us get so used to pain that that's all we know. Right? But you're no longer like nourishing or feeding the temptation. You're letting it fall. You're just letting it fall. When, when this, but something is, something unique is happening here with this, with this spiritual narcolepsy, with this energy that has fallen, because as it falls, it transmutes into something else here. You can see the golden energy with the root self, the root girl, the disowned self. You could see the golden energy on the, on the, on the crown, the roots that are crowns. This also came up for Aries reading where you're no longer rooted in trauma. You're no longer rooted in trauma bonds. You're no longer rooted in temptation or self-sabotaging energies. You've completely like surrendered and let them fall off. And as they fall, they fall on the roots. They fall on the roots of a part of yourself here that you have, you have like yanked. You yanked yourself out of something from the past. You took yourself out of something in the past and put yourself in it in the present moment. So what's what's transforming for you this Scorpio season, Aquarius, is temptation. You're, you're no longer tempted by the things that used to tempt you in the past. You yanked yourself free. You, you let these temptations fall. You're no longer tempted. And these temptations, they're transmuting. They're transmuting into energies that shield you. Okay, your temptations have transformed into, they've ascended into an energy that like protects you. I know, weird, just give me a moment. But that's the way I'm seeing it. They've transmuted, they've changed, they've shifted because you have acknowledged, you have seen, you have acknowledged that temptation. You know that's your temptation. But you said, I'm not, le I'm not letting that tempt me anymore. I'm not going back to that anymore. So you recognize that you let it fall. It transmutes, okay? It transmutes and it begins to like form this new energy, that actually shields you and protects you from that very temptation. Does that make sense? So now you have a shield. Look at this energy, like the, the roots, and then you see like the aura of the frog, right? That energy that's serving the frog as a shield to shield the frog from anything unwanted. That's what your roots are doing. Your roots are on your crown. Your roots are on your crown for a reason. And it's to protect you. It's to protect you. This has been an emotional challenge. Again, more with this dripping energy. Look at that energy dripping, dripping, dripping. It, this has been very, this has been emotional for you. I don't know if you guys have dealt with addictions. I don't know. I don't know what this is. I, but some of you may, may have dealt with addictions. Some of you, um, 
You are addicted to old ways of thinking, addicted to patterning, addicted to triggers. Oh my God. Sometimes triggers, like being triggered, sometimes, sometimes we get addicted to the triggers. Let that sink in for a moment. Sometimes we get addicted to the triggers. Yeah, addicted to pain, but addicted to that trigger when it triggers you because it sets something off within you. It sets off something within you that your, your body reacts to. Your body knows is not good for you, but your body just, your body, because emotional pain, trauma lives in the body. You got addicted to a feeling. It is. It's hard to let go. That's why it's been an emotional challenge for you, Aquarius. But look at you. But you've expanded this. Expansion. Educate your mind and senses. You want to know what the senses is? The senses? That's your body as well. Not just your mind, not just your, your spiritual body, your emotional body, but also your physical body is having a different reaction to the very thing that you used to like feeling. That trigger. You don't have the same sense of it anymore. You don't have the same reaction to it anymore. Some of you, you were dealing with a really toxic person as well. I could feel it. Like, a, like you were, a, I don't know if you were in a relationship with 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. I don't know. But I see something really long term that you, even if you weren't in a connection, but you, 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 you were stuck on a person as well for a long time. You were addicted to that person. But you got yourself out through this process that we talked about. You've completely expanded you educated yourself, mind, body, and spirit. And all three, what is transforming for you this Scorpio season? Body, mind, and spirit expansion. You're no longer tempted. What temptation? Excuse me? What obstacle? That's not an obstacle anymore. I'm, I'm proud of you too, Aquarius. That's incredible. What obstacle? I'm moving free in my energy. What do you mean? What obstacle? This is not an obstacle for me anymore. No, absolutely fucking not. I said I was going to go to the tarot and I haven't yet. You know what, Aquarius? We're going to go to the tarot for you. Oops. Oh my God, look at this. The Phoenix. Oh. I see this Scorpio season is really going to be very expansive for you, Aquarius. Very expansive for you. You're the high priestess. Very. I'll go to the tea leaf oracle in just a moment. I just want to go to the tarot real quick. Very, very, very expensive. The crow. Wow, look at this more with the roots. Look at this. We talked about the roots. Look at that synchronicity. Wow. These are senses, the crow. These are senses. I know. Thank you so much, Aurelio. Thank you, Eve. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're almost done. We're almost there. <laughs> but I'm giving everybody my energy because I know if I get to like Taurus and I'm like, sorry, Taurus, I'm only going to read for you five minutes. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm going to give everyone my all. Thank you. This is all about your senses. The crow, right? We talked. So this. 
Scorpio season, what's transforming for you is your mind, your body, your spirit, expansion within those within those senses, within those spaces, those bodies. Okay, you also have this sense, your third eye, your intuitive sense is also expanding because your intuition has also been rooted. Six of Cups talks about past, the past. The very thing that you broke free from, the temptation that has fallen, the temptation that has transformed you. That tiger is the high priestess. This is your third eye, more of this third eye energy, more of the crow with intuition, intuitive gifts. I feel like your intuitive gifts are really going to heighten. Yeah, something is coming in quickly for you. Something's going to come in very quickly for you. Look at that eclipse energy here with the two of swords. Eight, eight, of, uh, eight of pentacles, the spider. But this is a seven of cups. It's, wow, that's weird. The way they came out like this. See that one cup going down and this cup is facing upwards? Some kind of like flip. I just heard flip cup. There's a flip. There's, a, again, this flip of emotions. Thank you so much, Kimberly. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. There's a flip of emotions. There's a flip of senses, right? Emotional challenge. Okay, you're going to resolve an emotional challenge this Scorpio season. That's what's transforming for you. And the expansion of your mind, body, spirit, and intuition. But I'm seeing a flip of emotions, okay? That's what I keep, I, sorry, they keep, they keep showing me that. A flip of emotions. There's the devil. The, what is the devil? Two, two, two. Addictions codependencies, attachments, every temptation, everything that we're talking about. Spirit brought out the devil. Thank you. Thank you. The octopus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kali. Thank you so much. The three of swords. There's a lot of emotions that you're going to be feeling. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for gifting that membership. That's so beautiful. I didn't know you could even do that. I didn't know you could do that. That's amazing. Thank you. There's a lot of emotions that are going to be coming up from you, for you. Aquarius, the Scorpio season. Okay, it may feel like emotional challenges here with the three of swords. You're going to understand a lot of things that used to tempt you in the past are not going to tempt you today. Okay, you're going to free yourself from these addictions, from these triggers, codependencies, okay, attachments. However you resonate with this reading, you're going to have a flip. You're going to have a flip of emotion of it. It's going to, you're going to feel very differently about it all of a sudden, okay? But it's not all of a sudden because it's all the work that you have put into, but you are going to feel, wow, you're going to have a realization of something here with the Two of Swords and the Knight of Swords. You're going to have a quick, like, revelation here that that, what used to trigger me doesn't trigger me anymore. What I used to do, I don't do anymore. Who I used to love, I don't love anymore, who I used to give attention to, I don't give to attention anymore. It's a flip of emotions, okay? That's what I'm seeing here for you. Let's go to the tea leaf oracles and see. Okay, that one came out really quick. <laughs> Spiritual guidance. Okay, protection from harm. That's beautiful. Oh, Okay, I'm getting a message and I have to say it and I'm I'm so sorry. This is this is hor this is horrible. Like I'm so sorry. I can't even imagine. 
I'm seeing like there's a mother. There's a mother and there's a, there's a son or I feel like it's a son that's addicted. Okay, that's addicted to drugs. And your wish, your prayer is to protect your son. Okay, spirit is protecting your son. I don't know who this is for. I'm so sorry. Oh, that makes me want to cry. Oh, I feel that. I'm so sorry. I don't know who that's for. I'm so sorry. I feel that. I feel your love for your son. I'm sorry. Thank you, Rob. Thank you for that. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's a really deep message there for someone. Please know. Please know that spirit hears your prayers for your son. Okay, and they're protecting your son. All right. All right. Okay. Um, there's a lighthearted, carefree time, though, everybody. <laughs> lighthearted, carefree time. You have your karma. You reap what you sow. You have your throne, position of authority, flag. Do not lower your standards. You have your marriage. You have your great good fortune. This came out for you. I'm pretty sure, I think. No, you got karma. Yeah, you got judgment and karma, but I'm pretty sure you got good fortune in your reading that I did for you. You also have here the tiger, doing something risky, taking a chance. But I feel like this is taking a chance on yourself. I see like you're believing in yourself more. You're believing in your intuition. You're believing in the things like you. You finally are seeing that you can heal from something that is so emotionally challenging. And the fact that you're going to feel lighthearted and carefree and not in this dark energy anymore, you're going to start to see the power of your love. You're going to see the power of your healing. Okay, you're going to see that you can actually heal, that you are your own healer. I know spirit guides us to people, you know, they assist us, but really you are your own healer. Okay, you have, you are highly, you highly thought of, you have someone new is entering your life and you have here marriage. So I am seeing like you're coming into a new relationship, possibly this Scorpio season as well. Thank you so much, Rosemary. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I see someone new entering your life. Someone may have already entered your life. Some of you already know who this person is. But I'm seeing for those of you that are not, no talking, no talking to nobody. You're going to start needing someone. It's happening very quickly here for you. You don't see it. You don't see it happening, but it's coming in very quickly. Okay. And you're going to have a change of heart. You're going to have a change of heart. If Aquarius, if you've been in an energy where you don't want a relationship, this person's going to come into your life and you're going to want a relationship. There's a flip of emotions. Okay, it's something that I'm seeing here. This person is going to change something for you. Okay, you may be feeling like someone is coming. This could be a soulmate of yours. Okay, you feel them very strongly, but you're highly thought of. Okay, 
People wish well on you is what I'm seeing here around you. You are surrounding yourself, especially this Scorpio season, with people who only wish you well and people who think of you highly. There's nothing fucking less. I'm sorry. There's nothing less. If you don't think highly of me, if you don't wish well for me, best believe you're not energy, your energy is not coming anywhere close. So I'm seeing you surround yourself with a lot of people who think very highly of you, who wish you well, okay? Like that's the only thing that you have time for because you've gone through so much emotional pain and hurt that you've worked really hard to get out of. Are you kidding me? You're not going to be brought back down. No, no. Okay, that goes for relationships as well. So some of you may have been really, really, really painfully hurt in the past, three of swords, when it comes to relationships. But I'm seeing that you're going to need someone here that's going to change your heart, that's going to change your mind. You may be meeting them this Scorpio season. And, and I'm only saying that because this Knight of Swords, okay, it's happening quicker than anticipated. Okay, if you've been anticipating this or feeling it, it's happening quicker than you think. All right. You never even had a boyfriend. You're nervous. <laughs> That's all right. Being nervous is not a bad thing. Being nervous is not a bad thing. You're so welcome. We're on our last sign. Oh, my God. We did it. <laughs> Who said all signs was a great idea? I'm just kidding. I love doing these for you guys. You're so welcome. Okay, Taurus. Last but not least, what do I want to do for Taurus? Let's go to the animals first. Eve, thank you so much. Oh, Eve has been here. You guys have been here. You guys heard me pee. I mean, we're so close. I mean, like, we're so close. Like, five hours with someone? We're close, close. <laughs> this is family close, okay? Oh, yeah, I'm still taking my bath. I got to walk bunny. Yeah, we're all BFFs now. <laughs> yeah, you came for the reading. You stayed for the, <laughs> for the pee. <laughs> Stop. Okay. I hope I've been giving everyone, like, equal time. I think I have. I don't know. I think being on here for five hours says so. Taurus. We're going to use the Santa Marta tarot for Taurus. done your reading in a minute I don't think so but don't worry guys everyone's gonna get their readings a lot quicker now trust me this is my full-time job this is what I do I'm officially in the veil I'm not living a double life anymore do you guys know just pause for a moment okay sorry Taurus uh just to redo your timestamp. Yeah, please, you know what, don't make any, don't make any inappropriate jokes, but I, 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 I know, I know where you're, you were headed. I can't believe you've, like, transformed to maturity. This is shocking. Um, I was living a double life, okay? I really was. I was in corporate for 10 years. I showed up at an office, prim and proper, not suits, but like I still showed up as myself. 
I got an award. Do you guys want to see my award? Just a little show and tell. Since we're all friends and family, why not you guys get to know me a little more? Okay. This is the company that I used to work for. Can you see my award? Okay. Fleet Complete. I got an above and beyond award for community. I got a community award. At about like eight years in the company. Because what I did is I started to introduce meditation to my coworkers. So I brought a little bit of me to a very mundane, structured nine to five world. And I started to show a little bit more of myself because I felt very far removed. I felt like I was living a double life. I felt like the more that I channeled and went into my gifts and my spirituality, I I just like couldn't be in corporate anymore. I, I I did not like at a point I did like, you know, going to work and then coming, you know, I would quickly like you know, pick up my cards and start shuffling and do a sign. Like, you guys need to understand, like, I would get up, okay? This is why, like, it's a lot, okay? This is what I did since 2017 up until, like, 2021, okay? I would get up in the morning, 6, 7, go to work, spend my 8, 9 hours at work, come home, driving traffic. It would be, like, 5, 6 o'clock at night that I would get home. I would eat and I would do a reading and then I would upload it either at night or in the next day. That's what I did. I felt like I was living a double life because I wanted to do this, but then I was also so scared of doing this. I didn't think that I would be successful doing this. I didn't think people would like me doing this. I thought people would think I'm nuts and they're just gonna be like, who is this girl? And like, just, you know, overlook me. I had so many fears. I had so many doubts. I had so many insecurities. You, you, you can't even imagine like the transformations I had to go through. And this journey triggered the shit out of me. I, I refused this path more times than I can count. I refused it. Yeah. Yeah. And they're like, they're also spiritually closeted. <laughs> like, there were a lot of people at my work that started to find out that I had a YouTube channel. And so I would like go into my office and like, you know, I don't know, someone like that works in R&D would be like, oh, I saw your reading. And I'm just like, oh, OK, <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> and I'm like, no, don't tell me, actually. But I would get like, you know, people at work would start to tell me that. And I'm just like, oh, my God, it's awkward. I had so many fears, but every time I said no to this path, I was always redirected back to it. No matter what, I was redirected back because I didn't want to do it. Not because, not because I didn't want to, not because I didn't love it. Trust me, I love doing this. This is, I know this is what I'm meant to do, but I was just really afraid. I was afraid. I was just afraid and I doubt I doubted so much about myself that I was just like fuck it I just said fuck it <laughs> and here I am yeah see Rob I swear now see my transformation I got a lot more like gritty and Rob got a lot more soft <laughs> what <laughs> So here we are. Okay, Taurus, 454. I'm so sorry, Eve. We just have to edit that. Okay, Taurus. 
Taurus. That was just a little share. Thank you guys for listening. Ooh. Okay, you got three. Okay, I'm going to read these two. Hold on. You have your cow. We haven't gotten this yet. Fertility, purity, and divinity. Ooh, look at the cow. Oh, my God, that's beautiful. What? Wow, that's gorgeous. You have here, the cow is among the most ancient of sacred animals in Egypt. A cow sculpture with a golden sun between its horns was paraded about in a nocturnal passion play depicting the death of the god Osiris, an annual event performed on the Egyptian All Souls Day. The cow figure itself represented Isis, the wife of Osiris, who was in search of the body of her dead husband. Isis, the foremost Egyptian goddess, was associated with abundance and fertility. Cow cults existed in Greco-Roman cultures. The beast is still sacred in India, where it is considered a being of great purity and fertility. In Hinduism, the bovin represented the female power in nature, whereby the earth itself is conceived as a cow and all vegetation and food derives from its milking. And then you have here panther. Ooh, here we go. Magic, darkness, and death. I mean, if this ain't Scorpio energy, I don't know what is. Like other large cats, the panther represents ferocity and courage. The black panther is a particularly, particularly mystical symbol that has represented dark energies and rebirth. Native American tribes of North, South, and Central America considered the Black Panther to wield powerful magic. Egyptian rituals involved the wearing of a panther tail about the waist or neck, which brought... Oh, that's my brother! Mustafa Ahmad, that's my brother. Everyone say hi to my brother. Oh... Um. <laughs> Um, Egyptian rituals involved the wearing of a panther tail about the waist or neck, which brought strength to its wearers and the, and the cans of Borneo feared the soul of a black panther as much as the beast's corporal form. After killing a panther, a cayenne hunter would step eight times over the dead animal, reciting the spell, panther thy soul under my soul. And then you have your hawk, healing vision, rebirth, and spirituality. There are many species of hawk, each with its own legends and associated folklore. The birds have symbolized healing, freedom, vision, and rebirth. In Egyptian mythology, Isis, again, the goddess of abundance and fertility, assumes the shape of a hawk as she births, she gives birth to her son, Horus, one who then dies and is reborn. She also becomes a hawk to join her husband, Osiris, in the underworld. Native Americans associate the hawk with potent magic and use its feathers in healing rituals and in ceremonies to bring in rain. You have here death and rebirth with the panther and the hawk energies. You're rebirthing into purity is what I'm getting here for you, Taurus. You're rebirthing into purity. There's something extremely pure about your energy, Taurus. You're going through, I feel like a really, uh, there's a void. There's a void here. You're experiencing a lot of endings and they're taking place in the void. Some of you might feel very alone right now. Some of you might be feeling like a, like a hermit energy, isolation. You may be feeling like you're going through um, a lot of darkness in the void. I feel like you, you may be feeling like you're going through these transitions alone or like no one re really understands you. But that's happening for a reason because you're meant to feel this magic. You're meant to feel this magic yourself. You're meant to feel yourself in this energy, in these dark spaces. You're being rebirthed here into purity. I feel like you're filling the void. 
you're going to come out in a new you're going to come out in your new beginning filling voids there's you're going to come to notice Taurus voids in your life voids in friendships voids in marriages voids in spirituality voids in your intuition voids everywhere and you're going to start to fill the voids you're going to start to fill spaces is what i'm seeing here I love my brother. He is a, an incredible supporter. Aw. <laughs> Aw. Aw. Thanks, Mustafa. Yeah, the tower. Wow. Wow. Taurus. Oh my God. Holy <laughs> Taurus, you have the tower, the wheel of fortune, and Santa Marte. Santa Marte means holy death. I googled that because I don't speak Spanish, but correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure this means holy death. I I, I feel like you're going through. An interesting, like, you're going through a, a powerful cycle, like, of life and death here. This is like a beautiful story of life and death. We're Iraqi. We're from Iraq. You're going through a beautiful story of life and death right now. This death is bringing in new life. The tower is bringing in new life. The tower, you're going to start to see the voids. You're going to start filling the voids. You have three major arcanas at the bottom of the deck. That's insane. You have here the Knight of Cups. Came up in the reverse. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you're gonna fill you're gonna fill voids. You have here the devil in the reverse. Page of Cups. The Empress, wow, yeah, new life. The Empress came up in the upright position. Hold on a second. Let me read this for you. This is a story of life and death. I can, I, I keep like getting that energy for you. This is a story. Okay, so yeah, this is a story of life and death. But I got this the song, the rap from Fresh Prince of Bill Air. I don't know if someone just recently listen to that or watches that like religiously like that show I don't know why that came through but see this void okay I'm getting this as a void energy I see you moving into it I know this is it in the upright position but this is how it came out you are emotionally detached right now noticing the endings in your life it's almost like you are detached from from emotions okay you have your ten of cups in the reverse temporarily okay you're detached from your emotions here with the devil okay talking about detachments so i feel like you're detached quite emotionally right now okay taurus but it's hap it's happening for a reason because in this death in this death you have to detach yourself emotionally for the things that are ending in your life i see that you're facing them head on here with two of pentacles like you're facing something face to face you're face to face with like the energy of death. Okay, you're face to face with it. And it's telling you a beautiful tale. It's like death is telling you a story. Like I keep hearing that. This is a, this is a beautiful story of life and death. You're face to face with like the energy of endings. Okay. And that's magic. The energy of death is showing you it's magic. Okay. The magic of the voids. 
the emptiness that you're seeing, the emptiness that you're seeing. Look at the, the spoon. You could see the, the holes in the spoon and the water like dripping out of it, right? That's a void energy. You're noticing the voids in your life, okay? Whether they are in your job, whether they are in your family, your friendships, your relationships, your home, I don't know, but you're noticing voids in your life and you're this empress energy giving birth Okay, tower and the empress. Okay, the tower is bringing in new life. Empress energy, the tower is working through you, is bringing in these massive, pure energies that are going to work through you to fill the holes, to fill the voids in your life. So you're going to see them. You're having a discussion. You're having a story with death right now. You're noticing that the, you're feeling that there are endings, but you're detached from the emotions of them. So you're feeling them, but you're not attached to them. When, when you're not attached to them, you can let them go. Okay, you can let them go. You can set them free. Okay, this gets the wheel to turn. And then you're going to start to see clearly where the voids are because some of you are not feeling and you're not seeing clearly the things that need to go right now. Or some of you are noticing or not seeing, excuse me, not seeing where the voids actually lay. Some of you may not notice that you have a void at your work. Some of you may not be noticing that you have a void in your marriage or a void in your relationship or a void in that friendship that you thought you guys were so close. Doesn't mean you're going to end that friendship, but it means you're going to fill, you're going to fill the space in that energy to give it new life. This is about giving things new energy, revitali revitalization. And some, so some things are going to go, okay? Some things will be no more, but some things are going to still stay, but energies are going to start to remove themselves in that space, okay? So if you're in a marriage or if you're in a friendship and you're having a troubled time, okay, the energies that are causing the trouble are going to go, okay, let them go so that you can fill them in with spaces with, with energies in those spaces to start to birth new energies for solutions, okay? It's like glue. You're adding new energies to put, put it back together. Ace of Cups in the upright. Love it. Love it. That's what you're doing. You're filling the cups, you're filling the voids with all this energy, okay? You have here the nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles in the reverse, that's interesting. But here you have time, the grandfather's, the grandfather's clock, and here you have the wheel of fortune all about time. And here's Santa Muerte, again, with the, with the clock, time, or the sands of time. Let me get one on this. Some of you have been avoiding doing this. Some of you, you've been avoiding it with the nine of pentacles. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Obstacles are going to go. Energies are going to go. They're going to go. You have your Lord Ganesh. This is the elephant. This is about removing obstacles in your life. Some of you, you have been avoiding it with the nine of pentacles in the reverse. Okay. Some of you have been avoiding this. You've been feeling the need to do something, to make some kind of resolution or to remove things in your life. You were a little bit, I'm feeling like you were afraid to feel the voids. You were afraid to feel the voids because feeling one void is plenty, but feeling 10 voids in your life can be a little bit overwhelming. So you're avoiding it, but you have the power, you have the love, you have the energy, you have the rejuvenation, the universe is on your side. You have the power and the magic and the darkness of death with you. Death is magic. Death is purity. It's about purification of energy. That's also the Empress energy, Ace of Cups, love. This is purity. What did I say? You're rebirthing into purity. You're rebirthing into purity. This is about bring. This is about bringing pure energies into the voids. 
to fill the voids. You're filling them with pure energies. It's the time to bring in pure energies. That's what you're doing. This is That's what's transforming for you this Scorpio season. Do you want me to get some Oracle cards for you? Just to be... Okay. Oh. Depression, anxiety, and worry. <laughs> Vulture. But you know what's so funny? The vulture spirit. Do you know how powerful the vulture spirit is? Vulture is all about purification. Okay? Vulture is a purifier. It's a purification energy. They, they, they're seen with the carcass, right? Vulture is seen with the carcass of the dead. Right? They peck and they eat the dead. But what do they do with the flesh? They consume it, but what are they doing? They're purifying it. They purify. That's what vulture spirits do. Many and many, many believe that vulture vultures, they purify the dead. And what do you have here? You have purity with the cow. Nothing goes to waste. Yes, nothing goes to waste. Yeah, the cleanup crew. <laughs> But yeah, some of you have been depressed or anxious or worried about things ending, about feeling the many voids in your life because you know, you know with this nine of pentacles in the reverse, you know that there are going to be some voids in your life, more than one, maybe more than two, maybe even three, four, five, six. But that's okay. You're going to fill it. You're going to fill the voids with purity, with pure energy. That's what needs to come in. You'll hear romance, celebration, and party. It's time to have fun. <laughs> it's time to bring in romance. It's time to celebrate, right? These are all lighthearted frequencies and energies. I'm seeing a lighthearted romance. I'm seeing that in a marriage too. I'm seeing it be like, like you're dating your, your spouse again. You hear kangaroo, unsettled times need to plan ahead this isn't regarding a career this is regarding career yeah some of you are frustrated when it comes to work okay it's a period of frustration only a lesson to be learned some of you regarding work thank you so much ariel you didn't have to do that sweetheart thank you thank you thank you thank you yeah look celebration fun and enjoyment as we're talking about that, get back to the basics. Yes, some of you, you're dealing with someone here, whether it's a spouse, a romantic connection that you have been in, maybe you lost a little bit of spark. But they're saying, get back to the basics, date your spouse, date, go on a date. Okay, this is only a period of frustration. It's just a lesson to be learned. There may be some unsettled times, but you just plan ahead. Okay, just plan ahead and whatever it is, and you're going to overcome it. Great good fortune again. Love that energy. Let's get one more. Oh my God, I wish it's granted. <laughs> wow, I wish it's granted. Okay. <sighs> Love it. Love it. This is what I have. Taurus. I love you guys. Ooh, it's 12, it's 12 away Eastern. I'm going to let you guys go. <laughs> I'm going to walk Bunny. She's been just sleeping while I'm over here being all sassy and shit. <laughs> and then I'm going to get into the bath. I'm going to clean. I'm going to, I have to clean off the energy before I get into bed. I'm, I can't sleep right now. Okay, this is also like a tip, okay? We never want to go to bed with other people's energies, <laughs> especially me. <laughs> Ariel told me that <laughs> in my reading that she did for me with my birth chart. So I'm going to get into the bath, clean my energy, and then I'm going to get into bed and go to bed. But thank you guys so much. Thank you for allowing me to read for your energies. Okay, thank you for trusting me with your energies. I hope that they helped. I hope that it resonated. You guys mean the world to me. Thank you so much for all your subscriptions, your memberships. Thank you for booking a reading with me. Thank you. Honestly, it means the world to me that 
I'm here with you guys. I love you guys so very much. Have an amazing night. Bye.